What's going on, guys? How are we doing this morning? It's your boy, Worthy Prince, coming at you with another Lord's Mobile live stream. We back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we are. And it turns out today, Necrosis is out. Well, you may know that I have been kind of waiting for these little, little cheeky buggers to come back in the get come back out in the game and <laughs> it just so happened it happened today <laughs> so we do have a couple of streams to do today we're going to do this one first which is basically going to be me trying to upgrade my book of the dead uh to mythic we're going to see if we can do it today if the luck is with us we will find out um and then later on today we're going to be doing another lord's mobile stream where we're going to be doing guild fest bash because we're going to go and uh Pull some mischief in Lords Mobile a little bit later on today. <laughs> so yeah, double Lord stream uh, Thursday, which is always a good time. And so yeah, hope you guys are ready for it. How's everyone doing? Can we get some hype in the chat, ladies and gentlemen? How are we doing? Are you all doing good? Are you ready to go hunt some zombies? I'm ready. I feel ready for it. What's up, Maresh? You were first today. Thank you so much. Yo, Perk coming in with the 13 months support on the channel damn thank you so much bro that's absolutely awesome good morning everybody i hope you're all having a good morning as you can see i've had a great morning because i'm bubbling full of energy which is awesome um guys i had a breakfast this morning like literally the breakfast of champions i had three rashes of bacon three fried eggs and a pound of ground beef on the side and a massive burger patty <laughs> yo i ate good this morning and i'm gonna eat good later as well because later on i'm having a 12 ounce ribeye steak with some shrimp alongside it and the reason why i'm gonna be eating so much today a bit more than i normally do is because i am going to be doing a three day fast yes I do it like once a month. I do like a three day fast. So Friday, Saturday and Sunday, your boy's only going to be drinking water and not eating any food. So today I'm stocking up on the on the meat <laughs> and having a bit extra today. So I'm ready for the three day fast that's going to follow on following on from today. So, yeah. Just a little update for you. My carnivore lifestyle is going fantastic. We saw further weight loss this week, which is awesome. Um, I'm now down below 19 stone. Now like 18, 18, 7 or something. I mean, it's pretty good. We're going down, 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 down. I'm down in pounds. I don't know what that works out into in pounds. It's like 260 pounds or something. I've still got like 40 pounds to go. I want to get down to 220. 220 is like my goal. That's where I want to get to because I don't want to be a rake. I want to. I want. I like the brawnness. I like the. I like the brawnness. You know what I'm saying, guys. So yeah, I, I want to get down to about 220, and then we're gonna go lift some heavy weights, boys and girls. Oh yes, we are. We're gonna go lift them heavy weights and turn that, turn that jiggle into muscle. That's the plan, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, going good. I've, I've, it's going pretty well. You know what really felt good? Just a little side note. I tell you what felt really, really good is I was able to go out yesterday clothes shopping with my family and to get some bits. Actually, my, I'll my mum treated me to some birthday clothes yesterday because I'm going actually, it's my, it's my birthday present. It was my birthday on the 1st of April and she said, what did you want for your birthday? And I said, I can get some new clothes if you want for me, for me holiday in, uh, in, uh, in, in May. And she said, yeah, no worries, we'll do that. So we went out yesterday and she bought me some new clothes nice when people buy new things it's cool it doesn't happen very often um but it's nice when it happens and uh yeah no it was cool it was nice to be able to go into a regular clothes store again and actually get clothes off the shelf now for a lot of you guys that won't ever be an issue for you but trust me when you when you get unhealthy and you like i did and you put a lot of weight on like i did uh, you could never go into a clothes shop on the high street and just buy clothes because none of them fit you. <laughs> um, but now, you know what? It was so nice to just walk into a clothes store and be able to just buy clothes off the shelf, guys. Oh my God. Such a nice feeling. Feel like a human being again. It's great. Soup says, please make a P.O. box. Something I was thinking about doing. I haven't done it yet. 
but it would be cool to have because if there's any fans out there that want to send me little things just don't like send me nothing horrible but yeah I i'm thinking about it yeah yeah soup i am considering it all right so i'll let you know about that <laughs> anyway finally prince listen to me he will go gym yeah no i'm gonna be going and we're gonna be lifting some heavy weights i'm gonna start really pushing the weightlifting once i get down to the goal weight right now i'm still cutting so we're trying to get down to 220 220 pounds is what i want to get down to and then we're going to start doing some heavy weight lifting let's start, start pushing the weights at the moment i'm just doing some light weights i'm not doing nothing too heavy too strenuous at the moment in fact the exercise i've been doing has been pretty limited over the last six months that i've been doing carnivore all the weight loss has just come through nutrition not through exercise you don't need to exercise to lose weight you just need to eat the right food it's amazing that isn't it anyway it feels good it feels good i will send you weights and 190 kilograms of steak yo that sounds great i don't know if it'll fit in the po box but that sounds good you should get into running agreed yeah sprinting is very very good um not just running like long distance running but sprinting doing short sprints sprints are really really good for you so i might start doing some sprinting but yeah, no, I didn't I didn't want to do it until I lost the weight because like if you there's no good doing this kind of running and sprinting and weightlifting when you are too big because all you're gonna do is cause yourself an injury. Do you know what I mean? So it's important to cut the weight first, get down to a good weight, and then when you're a lot lighter on your feet, then you can go off and start doing all the weightlifting and exercise and stuff. So it's getting close. I reckon based on the amount of weight I'm losing each week, and that's another really important point I just want to make a make a point of. For the last six weeks i've been doing carnivore i've been i've stayed away from the scowl daily but i've been getting on it once a week just to check the progress and i can tell you now over the last six months every single week that i've stood on that scowl i've seen a loss not once have i stayed the same not once have i actually gained any any heavy any weight it's been a loss each week sometimes it's only been a couple of pounds sometimes it's like five pounds but it varies between like two and five pounds but they're generally speaking there's a weight loss per week based on the amount of weight i'm losing per week still at the moment i would probably say it's going to be like maybe another couple of months before i get down to 220 and then we can start really transforming and start weightlifting and stuff i can't wait it's going to be awesome it's gonna be awesome you'll become old if you lose too much weight yeah i don't want to lose too much don't lose weight like that. You'll get baggy skin. I haven't got any baggy skin. I know that does happen with a lot of people when they lose weight, like lose a lot of weight. They get a lot of uh, excess skin. Uh, I actually have not really had that problem, to be honest with you. Everything's kind of staying kind of nice and nice and fairly tight. And it's, it's just, and it'll get tighter as I exercise and stuff. So, yeah, it's actually looking pretty good. Things are looking pretty good. Um, if I'd have done this when I was older, like if I waited another 10 years till I was in my late 40s, like early 50s, and then decided to do all this, then I'd probably have a lot more loose skin than I have because I'm still kind of, you know, still a spring chicken. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I was able to, you know, I've recovered quite well from it. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Loving it. Okay. Anyway, getting off the topic of carnivore, I just wanted to give you an update on the health side of things this morning because I didn't really done that for a few days. Uh, today, we're going to be jumping into Prince's Old. Less of that, bro. Less of that. Um, we're going to be jumping into Lord's Mobile today. We're going to be hunting Necrosis. We're going to be looking for the Bloods because I'm actually really close to getting my uh, Book of the Dead to Mythic. So hopefully, we could possibly do that today. Let's dive into the game and let's see what's up. Are you ready, peeps? Let's go! right here we are we have a right oh no no we haven't yo there you go this is a new thing i was gonna do show my thumbnail before we actually get in because sometimes you don't see the thumbnail and stuff and i like my thumbnails as you can see we have mr necrosis here with a headache hopefully this is not going to be me with a headache today uh because hopefully we get these bloods <laughs> we will see we will see okay here we go we're in the game let's get it look at that production value guys top level production value going on in today's stream i love that stuff uh, okay <laughs> everything's done as far as my clicks and stuff goes all right cool so here's the thing i got no energy um as you can see we're down to like the bare minimum of energy here so we we need energy so thankfully we have some chests to open so let's jump down here and as you can see, we have 135 wishing star chests 
and 1,870 fortune chests. So hopefully we're going to get some good energy drops here. Um, 80,000 subs soon. Mate, we're, we're doing really well, Saqib. With the, everyone that's recently subscribed to the channel, I just want to say thank you. We've had a whole bunch of new subscribers. I have to say, I don't think it's because of Lords Mobile. I just don't, guys. I'm looking at the numbers and it's not Lords Mobile that's bringing in all these extra subscribers. It's actually Legend of Mushroom that is blowing the channel up right now with loads of subscribers and stuff. I have to be honest with you. That game is pulling in numbers and I absolutely love it. It's a great game. I've been putting videos up on it quite regularly at the moment and we're going to have a live stream on Legend of Mushroom in the next couple of days as well. But no, I love that game and it's really boosted the uh, community up a little bit here. So yeah, thanks to everyone that subscribed for Legend of Mushroom. Also, also, I can't say the name of the game, but I do have some other information for you guys. Um, I think possibly maybe, tom maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow or possibly Saturday, I think. I am going to have a video going up on the channel and it's going to be of a new mobile game that's coming out on the 18th of april um, i was invited to a closed beta yeah closed beta nobody else can play it <laughs> i got invited to a closed beta where i was playing this new mobile game and it's unique it's not like lords and it's not like mushroom game it's coming completely different so it's not a reskin and it's actually quite a lot of fun and i would call it a skill-based game. I know, what? Yes, a mobile game that does have monetization stuff on it, of course, because it's a mobile game. Of course, it's got monetization stuff, but it's a skill-based game. It's not a case of just, you know, press a button and it does it for you. You've actually got to be good at what you're doing to actually get through this game. So a skill-based mobile game, holy crap. No, it's not Plants vs. Zombies 3. I can't show you just yet because I'm not ready to show you yet. I'm playing it off stream on my own at the moment, just trying it out and learning the game. I'll have a video for you guys in a couple of days and I'll do a live stream on it before the launch. And on the launch on the 18th of April, I will be live for the launch and we can play it together. There is guilds in this game as well, so you can come and join my guild in the game. Based on what I've seen so far, I will be playing this game on the channel. It's very, very good. It's a good game. So yeah, you guys gonna absolutely love this. I know free to play is hard. What? Skill? I know, it's insane. You guys can check it all out when I drop the video in a couple of days and we'll have a live stream up before the launch on the 18th so we can explore it a little bit together on the live stream so you're all ready for it when it comes out on the 18th. And on the 18th, we'll go live with the game and we'll go ahead and play it together. So yeah, pretty good stuff. Another cool game for you guys to come and hang out with me on and play. Looking forward to that. More content for the channel. It's a win-win. Let's get it, baby. Um, okay, guys, let's dive into these chests. We're going to open up the Wishing Star chests first and see if we're going to get some luck today. Okay, here we go. 35 and... Ooh, five times 5,000. That ain't terrible. That's 25,000 stars. No 10,000s though on that one. Let's see if we can get some 10,000s on the 100 drop. Here it comes. Okay, four. No, that's not terrible. Four. We got 50,000 on the 5,000s. Okay, we can do some holy stars after we finish playing with Necrosis today. That's cool. All right, let's see. So we need energy. This is where I'm at right now. For all you nerds in the chat that are going to try and work out how much energy I'm actually going to get from this. You guys, if there's anyone in the chat that does want to do this, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> uh, I've got 44 1,000s. I've got 23 2,000s. I've got 17 5,000s. One 10,000 and one 50,000. So you can see roughly how much energy I've got. If you guys, if anybody wants to try and work out how much I get from this, I mean, you're more than welcome to try. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to add it up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's do it. We're looking for energy drops. That's what we want. Here we go. So 12 times 20,000. Boom. I don't care about the stars today. I really don't. If we get stars, then great. We'll do stars later. But it's energy that I want. All right, energy. Look at that. Beautiful energy drop to start with. Okay. Okay, three times 20,000 is 
kind of shit. Oh, that's not good. All right. Well, that's, all right. That's a, that's a doozy. Okay. A three times 20,000 again. Oh, come on, bro. Three times 20,000. Are we serious right now? What are we doing? Where's the jackpot? Three to... Okay. Okay. Bob, can you press the button, please? Yeah, th thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness gracious. What is this? Yo, dude, no way. Why am I getting scammed? Bruh, come on now. I'm getting scammed. Where's the... There's not even no stars there either. What did I get from that 100? Like, what did I get? I got kicked in the balls. That's what I got from that. I got literally kicked in the balls. Are you serious? Three times 20,000 again and no holy... Guys, we're actually getting scammed. We're full on getting scammed right now. This is crazy. All right, a little bit better. 10 times 20,000 energy. But where's the stars though? Look at where... I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not necessarily going for stars, but I mean, I would like some stars. I mean, that's crazy. This is, uh, this is looking rough. I mean, 12 times 20,000. That's a little bit better. Okay, more of those would be appreciated. And 21 times 5K, that's not bad either. But still the stars lacking big time. Again, three times 20,000 on the energy. Still no 10,000 holy star drops. Oh my goodness. All right, four times 10,000. That makes up for a little bit. We got nine times 20. You know, a bunch more of this would be nice. Okay, the 900 left. Again, three 20,000 energies and no stars. Awesome. Again, no stars because I know there is stars there, but I mean, we got no 10,000. So that classes as no stars. And six times 20k energy. It's kind of rough, to be honest with you. Again, wow. No 10,000 star drops. But we did get 12 times 20,000 energy, which is good. Okay. Man. Again, no 10,000 star drop. Wow, I am getting literally rimmed on the uh, on the stars right now. Like, the stars are not dropping at all. This is insane. And yet again, no 10,000 star drops. This could be one of the worst holy star openings I've done in the history of my Lord's Mobile gameplay. Okay, six times 10,000. Yo, I ain't being funny though, right? It's really bad. Like, this ain't going to be enough to pick it back up unless we get some jackpot drop. It ain't going to be enough to pick up the, the shortfall. It really ain't. And there's again, no 10,000 star drops. We get six times 20k energy. Two times 10,000 on the stars and three on the 20k energy. Wow, this is a big L. I think this is a massive L. Okay, there's a jackpot at the end. <laughs> There was light at the end of the rainbow. I still don't think even with this jackpot, only one jackpot from a full run of fortune chest and like from bursting with riches and the full the fortune thing, what you got, frosty special. Only one jackpot is kind of rough. I've got to be honest with you. That's, that's hella rough. I mean, I, I'll go see how many stars I got first. I, I, don't, I mean, let's look at the energy actually first. Energy. Now you can see here we have 44 1000s, 23 2000s, 403 5000s, 299 10s. We've got 106 20s and a 50. I don't really know how much energy I actually got from that, but I don't feel like it was great. I don't feel like it was great. Um, as far as the stars go, I feel like it was bad. Let me just check. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like it was really bad. I mean, 925,000 from a full run of Bursting with Riches and Fortune and Frosty Special. I always say that between 900 and a million is average. Like average, right? Anything under 900 is below average. I've always said that to you guys because you should get about 400k from Frosty Special minimum for a full run and 400k... Well, say 450, 450k from a frosty and 450k from a bursting of riches as a minimum. That would be your average drop rate, which would give you about 900,000 uh, stars, which is a, if you get 900k from frosty special and bursting of riches, it's average. Anything below 900 is below average. You got, you got scammed and anything above a million is above average. 
So to hit 925, although it didn't look like I was getting a lot of stars, I'm guessing all of the lower denominations of holy stars that I was picking up added up because we did actually end up getting average. I think what saved it was that jackpot at the end. Can you imagine if I didn't get that jackpot at the end? I would have had like 800 and something. That would have been awful. It was almost the worst holy star opening ever on the channel, but I have had less in the past. I think the worst I ever done when I opened up a full run of Frosty and a full run of Bursting was about 700,000 stars. That is literally getting bent over and clapped by IGG, getting 700,000 stars for two full runs of that. So it's not the worst I've seen, so it's not the end of the world. 17 million in here. Let's do this first. <laughs> not that we're going to get it, but let's do this first. Because there's a 17.9 million jackpot in here, so we might as well have a crack, right? As nerd, you made 7 million energy. Thank you, Ayush. I knew there would be someone in the chat that would nerd out and work that out. Thank you. 7 mil... Excuse me. 7 million energy. It's not bad. That's going to allow us to kill a whole bunch of necrosis today. Um, but before we do it, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of lab. Why not? Let's go ahead and bring this up so you can see. In fact, let's just cover up Oracle's face. We don't want to look at Oracle. There we go. Now it looks like I've got the body of a woman and I'm thrusting on the screen. Yeah. Wait, wait until it starts hitting. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. Watch, 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 watch. Ready, watch. <laughs> it looks like, doesn't it? Oh my goodness gracious. Imagine if I had a green screen and I was actually looked like on her, like on, on, on her. That'd be, that'd be kind of crazy. Uh, Eagles, note that down. Prince has 7 million energy now. Yeah. Eagles? Why, why are you noting that down? Huh? I have 28 million energy. Nice soup. Don't you do much hunting? You will hit the jackpot when you have 790,000 stars, says Sectation. Well, you know what, dude? I'll say this much. If we do hit the jackpot today, that would be crazy because then you guys would get a 1.8 million or whatever it is giveaway on the channel today. That'd be kind of fun because I like giving you guys gems. Did I just see my man's dancing for a jackpot? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of. No, nah, we're not going to. I highly doubt we're going to get that, dude. You know what? One thing I'll say to you guys is don't ever, ever, ever come into this labyrinth expecting to get the jackpot, yeah? Because <laughs> you're going to leave disappointed most times, trust me. But the reason why I want to use my stars is because you do get energy drops in here as well. And if there's any more energy I can get, I'd rather get it now before I start hunting the Croesus. So it makes sense to go ahead and um, do the labyrinth first and then we'll go do Necrosis. Bought all merchandise and gave it to my friends. What merchandise? You talking about the Lord's Mobile merch? I buy a lot of the Lord's Mobile merch as well, believe it or not. I do. Um, I bought the playing cards because I like card games. And I've got both the Lord's Mobile playing card sets, which are really, really cool. They're actually really nice, actually. One thing I'll say about IGG, they make very good merch. Their merch is always really good quality when it comes through, you know. It's good stuff. Uh, except for my trophy because they broke the sword. Um, but yeah, no, the uh, the merch itself is actually kind of cool. Um, I've got these things. Unfortunately, I have one missing. I've got these little things. I've got the little Child of Light Frostwing, which is really cool. And I've got the Child of Light dressed up as a, as a snow beast, which is kind of cool. Like little little figures. And I've got Child of Light dressed up as a griffin. See? Like, kind of cool. And I've also got Child of Light dressed up as a Terrathorn. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Look. And these are made out of like acrylic. They're really cool, like good quality, like solid. They're really good. So yeah. Well, I got those. I got the playing cards. Um, I got a couple of the brass figures. Uh, but I only got those because I won one in the pay event and Booze won one as well. And he had a duplicate, so he sent it to me from Germany. So these are really heavy as well. I've got the brass figures. I've got the witch doll brass figure, which is kind of nice. 
These are really bloody heavy, I tell you. They've got some weight to them. So I've got the, I've got, I've got the witch doll. And I've also got the, um, the light weaver as well. See, everybody thinks I don't have a gold 11k. I do have a gold 11k. It's light weaver. There it is. Let's see. I have a real gold 11k. <laughs> so yeah, I got my gold 11k. Um... What else I got? I got the mouse mats. I got the big mats that go across my desk. So on my desk here, where I where I'm at my computer, I've got one of the big Lord's Mobile uh, mouse mats, like desk mats, which is really nice. I always buy the desk mats when they bring the new desk mats out because I like it. It's cool. Um, so yeah, I got a bunch of this stuff. That's a brass 11k. Nice oh, solid gold, mate. Solid gold. <laughs> yeah, no, it's brass. It's brass. It's really heavy, actually. Lol, your merchandise, not Lord's Mobile merchandise. My friends don't play Lord's Mobile. Oh, wow. Wait, you went on to, you bought all my merch. That's awesome. Thank you, dude. I don't ever promote it. You know that. I should, but I don't. I'm not one of those YouTubers that just constantly promotes their own stuff all the time. It's there. And when people click on my videos, it pops up at the bottom underneath the video. So people can see it. And it's up to people to click on it. I don't ram it in everyone's face. But yeah, I do have merch. I have cups and hats and jumpers and tote bags and water bottles and pillars and stickers and phone cases and all sorts of stuff. Um, but yeah, thanks, man. If you bought some of my merch, I appreciate that, dude. Thank you for the support. Um, I need to do some more stuff, actually. I need to... You saw it on my YouTube page. Yeah, I do, I do post about it sometimes, but I don't do it all the time. It's, it's always in the description, you know, the, the website address so people can go to the website and take a look, but... Yeah, that's awesome, man. Thank you. Light Mecca says, I want more streams from Legend of Mushroom. I know, bro. I know. I'm going to do another one in a day or two, okay? Right now, I'm just working on getting some more lamps and just upgrading. Um, I'm trying to get the rest of my Aura gear sorted, but I am saving uh, skill summons at the moment. I've got over 5,000 skill summons saved. So on the next stream, I will probably be... Uh, but I don't know if I, I might save them for the skill rush whenever that comes out. But we'll be streaming again soon. Next day or two, we'll do a mushroom stream. Even if it's just hanging out with you guys and asking any questions and stuff, we'll be doing it again. Yo, what's up, Sugar High? Yo, Sugar High, I've been stealing your um, I've been stealing your fruits, mate. I've been in your I've been in your garden yesterday, stealing your stuff. <laughs> they named a piercing after a prince, a prince Albert. Yo. There's many piercings that make me cringe, but a Prince Albert piercing? Yeah, nah, we'll pass on that, dude. We'll pass on that. No, 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 no. Prince showing off his toys. Bro, listen, right? Listen. Listen. <laughs> Yo, dude. Listen, yeah? These ain't toys. Why'd you... I hate it when people do that. Why are you calling them toys? <laughs> Guys, these are collectibles. They're collectibles. They're not toys. It's like what's behind me over here. They're not toys. They're collectibles. Also a little bit dusty. But they're not. Look, look, look what I've got here. I know it makes me a bit of a nerd, but whatever. I'm a bit of a nerd. I don't care. Look at this. In the box. In the box. Pristine condition. My Super Mario Brothers movie Toad. We got the Mushroom Man. Look how cool is that? He's got his, he's got his little, he's got his little saucepan that he, he he uses. How cool is that? That's so cool, and it's in a really cool box as well, which looks really good. Look, this is nice. This is this is merch. This is this is this is collectibles because I haven't opened it. I don't play with it. It's for display. I've got Toad. I've got I've got Cat Mario. I've got Peach. I've got Peach in her pink dress, and I got a Peach in her white fighting outfit. I got Mario, Luigi, and I've got. Tanuki Mario. The I've got all of them, man. The only one I haven't got is Bowser. You know what? In about 50 years, there's going to be a massive Mario fan in Japan that's going to pay me like $10 million for those things. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man. Let's get it. Collectible toys, guys. Get it right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, nerd. Yeah, I know. I know a little bit. I know. Look, listen, it is what it is, right? I, I think, I think, I, I like collecting things like that. I like collecting game models. I always have done. How, but how many Pokemon cards? Don't make me get up. 
<laughs> Don't make me get up, Grant. I'll, I'll do it. I'll go get them. Uh, I've, got, I've got Pokemon cards as well, yeah. But I haven't got none appraised. I don't have any in plastic cases. Um, but I have got Pokemon cards. Yeah. Check out Extravaganza. I will do. Wait, it was, I, I've already done Extravaganza. Or is it a new one? Is there a new Extravaganza up? Oh, God. We've got this today as well. What is it? It's Lightweaver. Oh, no. I don't care about Lightweaver. Um, sorry, Lightweaver. Well... I'm not, I'll do this, I'm not doing this now, I'll do it later. Oh, but we can do these. Oh wait, we should probably do these, actually. We should probably get these done, uh, Encounter Labyrinth Guardians. We could probably try and do some star quests, I guess we should do that while it's up. Would make sense, wouldn't it? Prince, we face Uwu today. Oh, do you? Good luck. That's gonna be a tough fight, they've got some big boys. I've been claiming play Pokemon for a long time. You know what? I like Pokemon. Is what it is. I like Pokemon. I actually like, I, I like, I used to like playing Pokemon a lot. But I like collecting the cards. I don't buy them all the time. Like I'm not so avid that I have to like try and collect them all. Gotta get them all. No, 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 no. I just buy a few cards from the new sets when they come out and just see what I get. I don't really go into like full on like collector mode, going crazy, buying packs or cards. But I have got some from the latest deck. I've got some from the latest. I've got some really nice shinies. I actually bought a bunch a while ago. And I was going to do a stream opening up some Pokemon cards. But I changed my mind. I thought, nah, I'll just open them myself. So I've done it off stream. <laughs> I think three piece champ bare minimum. For what? What are you talking about? Prince, how can I move from Werby Shrooms 2 to Werby Shrooms 1? You have to wait for Brawl to finish. Um, and then you can go ahead and drop out your guild and apply to Worthy Shrooms if you'd like to do that. We do have one space at the moment as well, but you can't move while Brawl's going on. What if Lords collabed with Pokemon? Yeah, that'd be a great collab. It just would depend on, you know, what we were talking about yesterday, right? If it was going to be a good collab where everybody could, like, enjoy it and get the items and stuff. Or if it'd be another high money thing, you know, which is not very good. A Charizard Castle skin. Yeah, don't put it in capital letters though, because Nightbot will snipe you. Um, yeah, uh, cap yeah, like a Charizard. I can imagine like a Charizard, a Charizard Castle skin would be good. Ash as a leader skin, and you could do an artifact. Could be a Pokeball. You could do a Pokeball artifact, um, and maybe a Pokedex, a Pokedex as well. So the Pokedex artifact and the, the Pokeball artifact. And then you'd have the Charizard Castle skin, because Charizard's the main one everyone loves. And you would have um, Ash as a leader skin. And then you could have some avatars with like Pikachu and stuff, and some emotes with Pikachu and Bulbasaur and Charmander and stuff on the on the emotes. Yeah, it would be a really, really good, uh, good idea for a collab. But... Again, it would just depend on if they put the stupid price tags behind it, like the rest of the collaborations they've done recently. And yeah, we talked about this yesterday. We don't want to talk about it today. If they made it fair for everyone to unlock stuff, then yeah, that'd be a fantastic collaboration. Massive. It'd be awesome. Yeah, Pokedex artifact, yeah. Great stream yesterday. WP, love some of the suggestions. Yeah, thank you, Langer. There's some of the suggestions are going to be impossible for IGG to do. As a, as a, as a game developer, it'll take them years um, to do some of those things. So some of those things just won't be possible. But there was a lot of stuff that I think is possible and stuff they could change that's currently in the game that's possible. So I hope they do or did listen to some of that stuff in the feedback. I guess we're just going to find out what happens when they do the next kind of like update run and see what they do. There's not much else we can really do at this point, right? Just got to wait and see. Oh, what's this one? Use 8,000 stars. Okay. That's easy enough. Okay. 15. Boom. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Cool. And the boss. There you go. Uh, you reckon you need at least three champ? What are you talk? Oh, three champ gear to be a good rally leader. Now you can be a good rally leader without any champion gear if you're rallying castles. It's just champion gear helps you when you do wonders. That's all. Okay. Oh, stop there for a sec. 
All right, let's just stop there for a sec. And I'm going to coincide the labyrinth with this and see if we can knock out half of this really quick with the labyrinth so we can get this done in today's stream. We'll try and do two birds, one stone with this thing. So what we'll do is we'll go do some monster hunting. Um, have we registered for that? Yeah. Oh, it's not nine o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. Um... Guild Showdown, we won Guild Showdown. Nice. We beat FTF, we beat SCDS, we beat KZ, and we beat X. Nice. Hold on, guys. A win in win in the arena. I like that. Good stuff. Uh, let me go and open this. I never get the good thing out of this. The 70% attack boost is literally the only thing in here that I want. I never get it. Never. See? It never drops. <laughs> it never drops. I never get the 70% attack boost. Prince, when you have time, let a, uh, could you generally move or you, move us move use around in family brawl? Uh, yeah, I can do that today. I always normally move people around normally. Um, can you help me? Can you help me? What's up, Crackfire? Uh, 2p is enough to beat well, 6 or 7p if you're... Oh, 7 piece. Yeah, 2 piece is enough. Yeah. Yeah, I just need more if you go up against a bigger person, that's all. Yeah, I just did respond. What's the matter? Just ask, if you've got a question, just ask in the chat and if I see it, I'll answer it. I'll answer it if, if, it's, a, if it's a sensible question. Um, if you're going to ask me for gems or an account, um, you need to go to speak to customer service IGG and ask them, okay? Okay, let's go and have a look in here. Um, okay, I can't do that. I don't want to do that one. Just remove that. Okay. All right, peeps. Let's go hunt some necrosis. Let's go. Where are they at? Where you at, necrosis? There we go. No, that's the wrong one. All right, sweet. Opinion on KD. KD was kill death ratio. What are you talking about? Um, okay, let's go. So let's put an attack boost on. I'm going to use a 50. And we're going to take it up. Prince, you also, yeah, I'm doing extravaganza at the same time. Yeah. But like I'm doing it when I'm doing it in the labyrinth. So I'm going to start hunting a couple of monsters to get this going. Otherwise, we going to be here all day. We've got to try and do it. Oh, before we start, just to give you a look at where we're at with this. Um, Book of the Dead. Upgrade. You can see here we are currently 17 out of 18 for the Book of the Dead. One purple, three blue. So I just need like two purples and a blue and boom, we got it. So yeah, we're really close. Okay, dude, you asked me if I could help you and... I said, yeah, what's up? Ask me a question. And you've replied with hi four times and then okay. Dude, stop spamming. If you've got a question, ask and I'll do my best to ask it, okay? Imagine dropping a few of those Astra mob chests while hunting. Drops 200 mob Astra per chest. Yeah, but the thing is, I tried doing that before with the um, Bon Appetites and I got, I killed like 18 Bon Appetit level fives and I got zero of those chests. So the drop rate on those is just like 0 0.001 or something. It's stupid. So I'm not even going to bother trying. Just say what you want. Yeah. Um, are you meant KD family? I don't think anything of KD family, dude. I don't really know any of the people over there personally or anything. And yeah, like I don't have, I don't have any bad feelings towards anyone in this game anymore. Now I'm beyond that. Now I just enjoy playing the game, have some fun, whatever. It's all good, man. You know, why do you think TWK like done, were playing with SSQ the other day? Do you know what I mean? Like I put a video out with us playing with them and we were like mortal enemies. If I was still stuck in the past, I would never have allowed that to happen. Come on, guys. I would have been up in that leadership room going absolutely ballistic if I ever heard anything like that two years ago. But hey, look, people change, yeah? We, I guess in a way, you kind of just like move on and it's just not worth the energy to waste on silly little bickering things, you know? 
And in fact, we had a really good time working with SSQ. We got some really good zeros. Um, we had some fun playing the game. That's all I really care about these days is just having fun while I'm playing the game. So I'm not really into all that kind of like enemies and stuff. I mean, obviously we have people we play against, but I wouldn't call them enemies. They're just people we play against. It is what it is, right? Just move on. Bad feelings only for IgG. I mean, I hate I hate being that way. I hate having to constantly nag at them about this game. But yesterday, I'm not putting no more energy into that. We spent, two, I said, I told you guys we were going to put two days worth of energy into discussing the past, pr present and future of Lords Mobile. And also discussing about where the game's at, what we can do to improve it and give a bunch of suggestions on what they could do to the current game state and what they could do as far as upgrades go going forward. I have given the energy I said I was going to give to that. We've done two days worth of content, two days worth of discussing it. Now I'm moving on and it's up on the channel for IGG to view. They can go and check it out and watch it and hopefully learn something from it. And now we're moving on and now I'm playing the game. I'm hunting monsters. I'm trying to upgrade my book. I don't want to talk about that anymore. You know, I put enough energy into it the last couple of days and that's where it's going to stay. Now I'm just moving on. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. That's actually kind of true, to be fair. Yeah, kind of true. True story. Okay, we killed two. Let's take a look. Let's have a look and see what we get. So we got three of those. Oh, it's those things. Oh, okay. All uh, right, gems. Oh, 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 oh. A green one. A green one. That's a good start. Okay. Oh, another green one. Okay, two greens. Okay. Okay, the good good start. Two greens. I mean, that's 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 a good start. All right, two greens off the first monster. What about a second one? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, no. Okay. Well, nothing on the second one. Let's go and find another one. Oh, who's this little squirt? Mimi boy, one hundred one. What the hell is this guy doing? Yo, dude, get out of my forest. <laughs> Yo, Prince, you're such a bully. Oh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, there you go, guys. Bit of action for you. All right, let's go over to... Uh, let's go over to this one here. Give me some diet tips for vegetarian people. I'm fat, says Science Beats. Uh... So I don't really have any tips for vegetarians other than eat meat. I'm just saying, like, I'm not saying vegetarian vegetarianism is a bad thing. It's just that I, I put my personal belief is that somebody chooses to become vegetarian or vegan, not because of health benefits, but because of an emotional response to animals. That's literally the only reason, in my opinion, why anyone would want to become vegan or vegetarian, not for health benefits. And the thing is, when you're vegetarian or vegan, you lose so many mi minerals and stuff that just are not bioavailable through eating vegetables and stuff or supplements. No, 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 no. So my, my suggestion would be uh, have a steak, bro. <laughs> you know, eat, eat meat. Be healthy. But you know what? If you're not eating processed foods, that's a good thing. I don't know how you gain weight being a vegetarian. Like most vegetarians lose weight and then, become, then look anemic. I don't know. No, that's not true. But a lot of some do. Yeah, have a steak. There you go. <laughs> I don't know, mate. Eat more, I guess. But yeah, you eat, too, eat too much of that stuff. You're going to end up feeling bloated and not too good. All right, what's on this one? Anything good on this one? Let's have a look. All right. Nothing there. No. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, we got a blue one. We got a blue one, peeps. Oh. Oh, I'm kind of excited. Oh. Oh, that's actually pretty good today so far. Two greens and a blue. Okay, okay. We got a blue one off that monster. Let's go and take a look. Let's go take a look. Where is it? Where are you at? Where's, where is it? Oh, there it is. Um, okay, okay. Oh, two purples. Guys, a double purple drop will literally do it if we get it. Oh my goodness. Okay, well... It's all to play for. It's all to play for. Maybe we maybe we're gonna get it. I don't know. Maybe we're gonna get it. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. 
And you know what? If we do do it, chat, if we do do it, look at this. I know I've shown you this before, but look at this. Look at this, boys and girls. Where is it? 1,151 Necrosis Astrolite. Ooh. We might be able to put a few levels of Astro on it as well if we get it to Mythic today. Mmm. Well, let's just keep trying. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, Holy Stars. What's that one? Get an Elite Boss. Oh, sweet. Let's go and do that. Let me just kill this Necrosis first. Yeah, I've got Hunt Boost on. Please answer. What kingdom are you in? I am in Kingdom 37. I'll put my all next year. It's 1.3 mil. No, no, I don't, I don't want to kill your all, bro. I don't want to kill your all. I'm quite happy doing my thing. Just stay in your kingdom, dude. It's okay. Um, okay, 60%. Nice. Let's go again. Yeah, I've got a boost on. I've got 21 minutes left on it. Oh, maybe I should use my rest of my boost burst before I go and do the labyrinth. Only because, like, I'll be wasting the boost, innit? If I don't keep hunting. Do I have enough embers? No, I'll probably need to get some. It's not a problem, though, because they are out today as well, so... I didn't want to get them before getting the drop, you know? Otherwise, it's a waste. If I get the drop, I'll go get the ember packs. So it's in your interest, IGG, to give me the drop, because then I'll buy some more packs. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Um, Nothing there. No. No. Oh, God. No, come on. I know what. If I just see a gold or a purple, I'm going to lose my mind. It'll be so good. Okay, nothing from that one. Let's just go and do that thing quickly. It's fine. Let's just go and get this. We need, we need a boss to get this next quest done. Hey, Dark Magister is in the labyrinth, ladies and gents. Let's go. Ooh, a thousand energy times 11. That's nice. Yo, Prince, Doomsday isn't that bad of a game. I tried it and it's nice. Oh, God. I'm not going to lie, right? I Yeah, gear check will be on Sunday, dude. All right, cool, Neff. Yeah, we'll see you on Sunday, hopefully. Um... I'm not going to lie, right, Clonical. I have been considering checking it out and looking to see what it's like, but let me ask you something. You've gone and played it, so you might save me the trouble. Um, you've played it and you said it's quite nice. Is it very similar to Lords? Is it literally, like I said, a reskin of Lords, but zombies, end of the world? Because that's what it felt like when they were talking about it. Like, it was literally just a reskin of Lords, but zombies, end of the world. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do a thing on the channel with it, to be honest with you. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm happy to do a live stream and check it out, I guess, and see. It would make, make my own mind up, but I don't know if I want to make, make content on it. I don't, I don't know. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Open guild gifts. Maybe you got some. I will check them out at the end. I always do it at the end. Alright, cool. Let's grab that. Nice. Alright, cool. Let's go get some more monsters. Um, Where's the next one? There we go. Alright. Okay! You got a boss prince. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll, I'll get it in a sec. It's alright. It has story, yeah. As you said, play once and see for yourself, which I have an experienced story in Lords. You could like. Okay. Alright. Okay. It only came out last year. Um, it only came out. The boss will be waiting for me when I go back in there. You you finished Extravaganza Quest already? Yeah, I know. It only came out last year. It's their newest game. It came out after Viking Rise. And we did try Viking Rise out, didn't we? When, when, when Viking Rise came out, I tried it out on the channel. I've done a live stream. We tried it out. And I came to the conclusion that it's an alright game as far as a mobile game goes, but it just felt like a reskin of Rise of Kingdoms. That's literally what it felt like. So, yeah, that was that. What the hell is that? Is that that castle you just brought in here with like one million troops in it? Um, okay. Dude wants to give me some kills. Okay.
Thanks. Um, <laughs> just hit it and just, I got a leader out of that as well. Nice, thank you. How many troops are in there? Oh, shit. Well, there you go. 1.4 million gone. I don't know why you did, well, I don't know why you wanted me to do that, but they're all dead. Thank you for the kills and thank you for the lead. Um, <laughs> how much money did you spend until your account became this strong? I'm free to play, bro. What are you talking about? I just grind like crazy, bud. Grind like crazy. Uh, okay. Let's get rid of these. All right, what's this? Wait, 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 wait. Is that, is, is that use energy? Oh, I might as well do this one because I'm literally burning energy right now, so. Here we go. Imagine Prince capped by a C21. Right? Tell me about it. It has the, the element, though, of attacking zombies to clear the geography and construct new buildings, but it's more interactive than Lords. See that, you know, when you say something like that, that really kind of grinds my gears that they bring out a game that's more interactive than Lords. So it's like, why can't they just do stuff to Lords to make more Lords more interactive instead of bringing out a new IP? You know what I mean? Like, but they, <laughs> it bugs me. It always bugs me when I see stuff like that. One minute reset. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. I'll kill this one quickly. Two more hits. Yeah, I should be fine. I got guys. I've got hunting gear on. Don't worry, Timothy. It's not my first day at Lord in Lords Mobile, bro. <laughs> we all remember our first day, mate. It's not my first day. Prince is grinding so hard that he's losing weight in real life. Tell me about it. Exactly. <laughs> you are a pay-to-play player for sure, dude. Nah, bro. Free to play, man. Um, okay, so let's go and take a look and see what we got. It's taken me about two years to save up all those uh, fortune chests I opened this morning. So, you know, I've been, built, I've been working up to this stream for like two years. This stream's like two years in the making, dude. Uh, okay, let's take a look and see if we got anything good out of this. Um, no, no, come on. Come on, game. Come on. I just want to see that purple blood times two. We see that and it's perfect. Or a gold. I mean, a gold works. Oh my God. Game's like, nah, I'm not giving it to you, nah. Um, There's two over here. Oh, no, there isn't because it's going to reset in eight seconds. <laughs> totally forgot. Uh, okay, click that. And we'll just wait a sec now. I've got to wait for a few minutes for it to reset the monsters. What do you mean, Peter Play? Those champ pieces are from SS28. Exactly. Um, little does Prince know, free to play, don't get fortune chests. <laughs> hey, I, I, I got it from like a special event. I can't remember what one it was. Um, what are we getting here? Anything? No, of course we got nothing from here. I never get anything from the guild gifts. The guild gifts are always... <coughs> Bless me. Ooh. What's in here? I've got to press this button. And boom. And boom. Ooh, brushes. Nice. Thanks. Okay. What else can we do while we're waiting? Should we do my dailies? The news event. Is there a news event? What's in the news? What's the news the today? Let's have a look. Uh, no, no, no. There's no news event. Scam warning. Don't buy fortune chests. Uh, <laughs> there is nothing in here. There's only that. Is there, is there something in here? I don't think there is, right? Um, event prizes. Oh, this is just the thing. Yeah, there's, there's nothing in there. Prince, can you tell me what uh, tell me what about Tashi? Bro, I don't bro, what makes you think I know anything about what he's doing or what he's up to? I haven't got a Scooby Doo, mate. I have no idea. I'm sorry. I can't give you any information. I, I'm kind of surprised, if I'm being honest with you, that he's vanished. 
But I mean, hey, the way I the way I see it, guys, and this is the only way really to look at it, is if he's completely disappeared and hasn't uh, hasn't said a, nothing to his community that he built up um, about where he is and everything like that or what's going on, then it's got to be something kind of serious, right? Something that's obviously happened. I hope it's nothing serious with his health or anything. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. And um, yeah, I'm sure once things are sorted or anything, I'm sure you guys will find out. But if, if, if it ever gets sorted or whatever the problem is, but as far as information goes, no idea, dude. I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. He still streams. Well, there you go. He still streams. He probably streams over on Twitch. Wasn't he doing Diablo 4 or something? Oh, the last thing I heard, he was doing Diablo 4 over on Twitch. Um, Kind of rough, Diablo 4, because Diablo 4 is not doing too well, to be fair. Um, They've made some changes to the game, which is going to be updating in Season 4 of Diablo 4. But I mean, if you don't want to wait for the update, just go play Last Epoch because they literally copied everything from Last Epoch in the next update. So yeah, I don't, I, I, I was really excited for Diablo 4 when it came out and I played it like crazy, but I don't really rate it as a game anymore. Last Epoch is better and PoE is better than both of them put together. So PoE 2 is going to come out soon and PoE 2 is going to be the number one action RPG on the planet when PoE 2 lands. So Diablo 4 and Last Epoch are, are going to be left in the dust when PoE 2 comes out. And that's the one I'm getting. I'm looking forward to PoE 2. I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to playing it. Yeah, same here, science. Hey, Prince, the, when does the 30% bonus coupon return in the, the diamond shop? Uh... Ain't got a clue, dude. I don't really use the diamond shop, to be honest. So I have no idea. I was using the diamond shop for a bit, but now I'm not using the diamond shop anymore. Krunals just wrote POE with a question mark in the chat because he doesn't know what POE is. Oh, God. Krunal, you're in for a surprise. It's called Path of Exile and it's free to play. And when I say free to play, I mean free to play. The only the only monetization that's in the game is the cosmetics, which don't add any power or any stats to your to your character. Just cosmetic. The actual full game completely free to play. There's no advantage to spending money. It just makes your character look different. That's all. Poe is um, fantastic, and Poe two is going to be. Amazing. I can't wait. I don't want that. I don't want that. Might keep that for a minute. Ah! There we go. You know you don't get EXP by getting zeroed, but by z killing troops, right? Who are you talking to? The dude that I just hit. Oh, is that what you just talked? Oh, I don't know. Do you? I don't know. You heard that Huawei's doing 25% again. Is that what you use? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Free to play impossible. No, 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 no. I've been playing for nearly seven years, bro. Seven years of free to play. Just takes dedication. If you, if you put dedication, ladies and gentlemen, in for seven years like I've done, even you could have a leader skin like this. Even you, ladies and gentlemen, could have champion gear like this with level 12 Astros and stuff. It can happen. You just need to, you know, focus and put the grind in, you know. I might, I might have got a couple of packs here or there, you know. Maybe. I can't really remember, to be honest. Okay. Let's kill this thing. Okay. 13.8% left. Let's knock that down to 7 and then whack it. Whack it! Right, let's take a look. The reset has happened. Hopefully that gives us some luck. We get nothing on that one. Nothing there. 
nothing there. Come on. Ah, it's gold, but it's the wrong one. Urgh. Okay. <laughs> no bloods. Where's the bloods at? Okay, let's try this one over here. Okay. Oh, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Take it to eight. There we go. What's up? He got mad. How you doing? You have elite labyrinth, nah, bruh. Yeah, but uh, nah. Well, yeah. Okay. Technically, I've got elite labyrinth, but the reason why I've got that is because I done a collaboration with IGG a few years ago where I made free videos, and they gave everybody that did it three one hundred dollar packs, and I got three one hundred dollar material madnesses back then because I wasn't working on my champ gear. I got material madness. And that hundred dollar pack activated my elite labyrinth. So yeah, that's how that happened, you know. Like, I've done KBK where I get those three champion chests. I've opened them up and I've had like gold champion jewels out of those and like gold mains. It's been crazy, man. That's why I always do KBK because you get some pretty good drops. You want my free to play luck, says Ladybug. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. Uh, Kalpesh says, when the next update IGG brings T6, Prince will still be free to play. Oh, listen, listen. Stop talking about T6. We don't want that. That's 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 not that's not good. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We don't want that. Jeez. Can you imagine? Hell no. Okay. Let's go, last one, and boom. And smack, you're dead. All right, cool, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it, nothing, nothing. Come on, game, nothing. Playing hard to get this morning now, come on. I know, I know the drop rate is really bad. I know it's horrible. I know they made it super stupidly low, but come on, you can do it. Yeah, no bueno. Yeah, we need to keep going, guys. We want storylines. If you want storylines, go into the heroes and look at their stories and read them. That's about as much story as you're going to get in Lords. <laughs> Good morning, Killer Koala. How you doing, bro? I did get gold champ jewel the other day. Almost dropped my phone on the floor. <laughs> nice. Yo, that's great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a really good drop getting that. Uh, we want bots gone, says Perk. Yeah, no, I, we all do, bro. Like, it's one of the biggest feedbacks we gave yesterday was them sorting out the bot situation. And I think based on what we said yesterday, the best solution would be for IGG to incorporate the functions of the bot into the actual game. On the watchtower, everybody gets notified when people drop shield and things like that. And then that way, the bot companies go out of business. And if IGG doesn't do that and doesn't fix the bot problem, that tells me one thing, that they're the ones in control of the actual bot system anyway, and they're already making a bunch of profit on it. So that's why they haven't fixed it. But that's a conspiracy theory. But it kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it, if they don't fix the problem or adapt the game to incorporate it. Makes you wonder why they wouldn't do that. Hmm. Just adds a little question mark like why wouldn't they fix it or add it to the game maybe because they're controlling the subscription service already i don't know it's a conspiracy theory right but it is what it is glad you're doing good dad you missed the old days of prince versus tashi <laughs> i don't if i'm being honest with you <laughs> i don't miss those days i'm glad those days have gone Storyline of T6 with the greed of company I bestowed upon this game. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. We don't want T6. Ed Mobark. Is that a, um, is that like a religious holiday or festival that's going on right now? I think it is, isn't it? I'm not very knowledgeable about it, but I think it is. Grolf is owned by the IGG CEO. It wouldn't surprise me. Would not surprise me. Which means, if that's the case, the CEO can't play the game because he had to use cheat bots to rein his troops in. Wow. I want to know how these rally leads are going to go to this event in Thailand and actually do these do these wars without using rain bots and stuff. Because can they actually win without those? 
don't know. No idea. They, they, it's really funny. They, they, these people that own these accounts that cheat at barons with rainbots and stuff, they think they're so good and all high and mighty, but they're actually trash. They just cheat. <laughs> it's so funny. It just makes me laugh. Okay, let's have a look. Nothing on that. Come on. Come on, game. Come on, come on, come on. Give us the drop we're looking for. Ah. Right, okay, let's keep going. Let's check extravaganza. I don't want that. I don't want that. What's the hell event right now? Ugh. Research. Delete that. Okay. Oh, is it a Muslim holiday? Okay, okay. Uh, T6 looking zombie troops. All the fillers at the event will be bots. Yeah, imagine, imagine right? <laughs> imagine. Maybe the employees at IGG have all replaced by bots. Yeah, maybe. That's what it is. They, 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 didn't they cut a load of staff at IGG? Maybe they just replaced it with AI and then the AI is the bots. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Killer Koala says, I am a bot. We're all bots, bro. We're all bots. Okay. We started off really well. We got a couple of greens. We got a blue. It was started off pretty good, but then things have taken a sideways turn and we haven't dropped any bloods for the last so many monsters. I've, I've killed quite a few. For the last six or seven monsters, I haven't had any. So that's kind of disappointing. Let's continue though, because it just takes one drop, right? One hit does it. Go and buy the forge pack for necrosis. No, no, no. We're hunting for it. I like hunting for it. I mean, don't get, if if I don't get it out of my energy, I will. But that doesn't. I don't think that gets it. That doesn't get it to gold. I don't think. How many purples do you get out of that pack? Mm. Come on. How many purples do you get in that pack? Wait, you're talking about buying this? I ain't buying that. I'm not buying... Oh, you're talking about the forge packs. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about these down here. You're talking about this, aren't you? That gives me two greens it gives me a blue it gives me a blue in a bit that's not enough to take it up but you get some chests as well maybe if i need like a blue if, if we get no if we get we need some drops first if we get the drops and we're like a blue away i'll go buy them igg have to give warbot subscription instead we are buying from market they could put it in the game as a subscription and just charge really low amount of money for it, like five bucks a month or something. They could do that. You just imagine if they do the war like a war bot, but they put it in here as a, as a subscription. Where is the subscriptions? Like in here and the special benefits. They could have like a war bot in here that does exactly the same as the current bot that everybody's cheating with in the game for the for the shield drop and the tracker bot and stuff. They could have a war bot in here under a subscription that you have to subscribe to monthly and they could put it in here for like five bucks a month or ten bucks a month or whatever it is and you can basically have the that way everybody has the same features as the cheat bot that everybody's using so then nobody can turn around and say oh but you got my shield because you used the bot everybody's got access to it that way no one can complain anymore that's how igg fixed the problem there it is. Maybe it wasn't their intention to have that in the game because it's kind of stupid when you think about it. But at the, same, at the end of the day, the game's ruined because people are cheating with it. So incorporate it and put the people that own them companies out of business. That's it. And then IGG can make the money off it instead of the bot company or the third party people that are doing it. Honestly, I think that's a massive idea for IGG. They'll make a shit ton of money out of that. 
like a shit ton. So many people will subscribe to that to be able to use that if it becomes an in-game feature. All the people that are, have created those bot systems will all go out of business because people will stop using it on Telegram and stop using it on Discord because it'll be more efficient inside the game. Directly link with the like through IGG, it'll be way better, much more faster and efficient. And uh, yeah, those, those, idiot, those idiots that tried to ruin the game will basically get put out of business and IGG will make a shit ton of money. Yeah, IGG, you can have that idea for free. There you go. Enjoy the, enjoy the money. I think it's a great idea. Prince, my account has been hacked. Do you know how I can get it back? Nope. There's no way. The only way your account's got hacked, Show Wayne Nelson, is if you've shared your logins or you bought the account from the from the market. If you bought the account of someone, because when you buy an account of somebody with real money, that is against terms of service, by the way, you have no idea who's passed the logins around, who previously owned it, or anything like that. So yes, yeah, that's why I would never buy an account. <laughs> uh, or you've shared your logins. Either way, you're kind of screwed. I hate to say that to you, but it's just, it's just the way it is, bro. Bro, please, Legend of Mushroom. <laughs> you know what? I love, can I just say, Edgy, I love the fact you're asking for me to play Legend of Mushroom. Thank you so much. I don't even get mad by people asking me to play Legend of Mushroom. We're going to do a Legend of Mushroom stream in the next day or two, okay? I've got videos going up quite a lot at the moment for Legend of Mushroom. And I'll have a stream up in the next couple of days for it, okay, mate? Uh, Dots of Record, good morning. Good morning, mate. How you doing? Hell no, not free. The chat once paid 1k for that idea. <laughs> I, you're true. IGG is greedy. They will charge $100 or more. Possibly. The silent lady at the IGG event owns the bot program. Ooh, the one, the one that was in the wedding dress. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, gift box challenge says, Godzilla event is bad. I need to castle token. Need six pieces, but I spent 39 tokens and I can't get it. Oh, no. Sorry to hear that, bro. Uh, next idea you gave the other day, a game like Mushroom with Heroes of Lords, it is have the law already. Bam, 10 million. I know, that's what I'm saying. I said that the other day, free to play is hard. I said if IGG made a game like Lords Mobile using the Lords Mobile IP and made it exactly like Legend of Mushroom, an idle RPG, but with Lords Mobile theme with all the Lords Mobile heroes and enemies and stuff and monsters and stuff, they could make a really cool version of that and literally make bank. Seriously, it's not a reskin because it's totally different from any of IGG's other games and it would make them a shit ton of money because loads of people would play that game. I would play it. It'd be cool. Yeah, I'd play an idle RPG of Lords Mobile. That'd be awesome. That would make Lords Mobile or make IGG so much money. Oh my God, they, they got no idea how much money that would make them. <laughs> It'd make them loads. Prince, are you playing World of Water? At the moment, I haven't been. I have not been active on World of Water, unfortunately. Um, the reasons I've not been active on World of Water is because the game started off really good and it was it was kind of cute that it was all under the water and the, that kind of theme. But that got, got, got tiresome quite quickly and the rest of the game, to level up and get to the level I want to get to, which is running the rallies, being the boss man of the, of the, of the war side of things, the economy's huge. Like, it's really, really expensive to do it. And the kingdom that we're in has completely died. Like, TWK took over the entire kingdom. All of the guilds merged in, all the big players. We've got all the big players now in the kingdom. Literally, the kingdom is just TWK and a bunch of small guilds. Yeah, you know I mean, it's just, it's just, it just, it just, the, 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 the fun factor finished really early on for me, so... I've lost interest a little bit. I'll be honest with you. I'm busy playing mo uh, other games like Mushroom Game, still playing Lords. Plus, I'm playing other games like Hell Divers 2, um, and also a new mobile game that's coming out on the 18th of this month. And we'll be doing a live stream on the launch, and I should have a video in the next couple of days showing you guys all about it because I'm playing the closed beta at the moment, and it's really fun, really good mobile game. You guys are gonna love it. I think you guys are really going to love it. And the best thing about this new mobile game that I'm playing is it's not like Lords. It's not like Mushroom Game. It's a different, fresh um, type of mobile game. And it's a skill-based mobile game. Imagine that, right? A skill-based mobile game. Damn. Don't see many of those. So, yeah, looking forward to showing you this in the next couple of days and revealing it. And 
We'll do a live stream on it before the actual official launch. I'll do a live stream on the closed beta in a few days over this weekend at some point and give you a sneak peek of what this game's playing like, what the UI looks like, what the menus look like, the monetization. We'll go for all of it and I'll show you how it all is. And um, that'll get you guys prepared, ready for the 18th of April. And on the 18th of April, I'm going to be going live with the game on day one launch and we're going to be playing it hopefully you guys want to come play too join the guild and stuff i'm really kind of pumped up for it it looks really good it looks really good name the game no next question <laughs> no i'm not ready yet you'll see when i post the video I'm not ready yet uh curvy curvy Foken laxamana in the chat has just wrote PUBG in the chat bro listen yeah People keep saying this to me. I'm not interested in playing PUBG. Blue Balls Entertainment can literally... No, thank you. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I I don't like PUBG. I think it's a clunky, a real clunky game. I don't want to play a game where I shoot things and the bullets don't register. I'm, I'm good, man. Honestly, PUBG is kind of poop. I know there's a massive fan base for it, but it's not. I'm not one of them. I hate it. It sucks. If I want to play a shooting game, I'll play Call of Duty, all right? Oh my god, PUBG sucks. WP, play PUBG. Bro. Yo, Perk just trying to grab my Perk, you're just trying to press my buttons, bro. I'm not going to fall for it. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Okay. Come on, where is the blood? Come on. Where you at, blood? That's like slang in England for saying that. It's like asking, where are you, buddy? Come on, where is it? I don't know what's going on here, guys. Well, I mean, I do. I'm getting clapped. Come on, game. Why you got to make me use all my energy up? Why can't you just give it to me and be done with it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We didn't even get a common. I killed like three. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I'm not. You know what, Dai GG? I'm, I'm not. I'm, yeah, look. They just lost out on some pack purchases because I'm not having it. No, reset. Give me my bloods. See? This is so annoying. Okay. Let's try again. Finally, someone agrees with me that PUBG and Free Fire suck. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those games. I know they've got big followings, but I don't really care. I don't like it, so I'm not playing it. WP, play Free Fire. No. <laughs> no, I'm good. Only game I play is Lords, and soon I won't be playing that. Ooh, says Quilla Koala. You know what, Koala? There's a lot of people that feel that way. Myself included, believe it or not. I know. The, uh, the, the, the Lords cape could be coming off the Worthy Prince if they bring out a really stupid update on this game. I'm really hoping they listen to the feedback and make some really good changes to the game and update it in a real positive way. Because if they don't, the old Worthy Prince cloak may actually officially legitimately come off and uh, Lords Mobile will be finishing on here on the channel if they do that because I'm not going to continue to promote a game that just doesn't listen to its community. This is the final. This is this is going to be strike free. This is the final. The final call. This is it. The final now is pointing into the coffin and the hammers above it. And I'm waiting to see what IGG do. And if they don't listen to the community, if they continue to show greed and no imagination and no originality and no creation to make this community thrive, that now is going straight in that coffin, and I'll be done. Disappointing, yeah. It should be a shame, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Hi, Sasha. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Will you still make content? Yeah, I'll still do content on Mushroom Game and other PC games and other mobile games, but I just won't play an IGG game ever again if they, if they don't listen to the community in some respect. You know what I mean? Like, just I just won't do Lord's content anymore. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know, guys. We'll see. 
Fingers crossed I listen, man. Fingers crossed I listen. Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh, man. This is painful. It's actually painful. What would you do with your account if you quit? Sell it or let it die? I wouldn't sell my account. No, I wouldn't sell my account. I would just... Um, I don't know what I would do with it. I would probably let somebody look after it for me. I would probably just let Bear take it under his wing and look after it. And keep, just keep hold of it for me. I wouldn't give it away. No, no, I wouldn't give my... <laughs> I wouldn't give my main account away because let's say I stop playing Lords and then like three months later they actually do do something that's actually really beneficial to the game and they change it in a massive way and it turns out really good. I'm not s I wouldn't hold I wouldn't hold my breath if they if they'd ever do that. If I did, you know. But maybe something would happen that would want that would require me, you know, to come back and play. If something actually changed in the game that was worthwhile playing again. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh I wouldn't I wouldn't sell my account. No, no, no. I should start playing Infinity Kingdom again. It's so much better now. Somebody actually said that to me the other day. Someone actually said that to me the other day. And you know what? I really did enjoy that game. I really liked Infinity Kingdom. Um, and I, pl I made content on Infinity Kingdom for over a year. But then the sponsorship ended. And... Therefore, the content ended. It was impossible to play Infinity Kingdom and Lords Mobile at the same time, guys. For me, anyway. Maybe for not everybody. But for me, it was impossible to play Infinity Kingdom and Lords Mobile when I never had no sponsorship on Infinity Kingdom. When I had the sponsorship on Infinity Kingdom, I was okay um, doing Infinity Kingdom and Lords. But once that sponsorship ended, yeah. I had to stop doing it because I, I couldn't I couldn't afford to play Lords and Infinity Kingdom. It would just would have been silly to even try. Um But yeah, no, I would love to I, I wouldn't mind playing Infinity Kingdom again, to be perfectly honest with you. It's a really good game. There we go. We get nothing in these. I never get nothing in the guild gifts. Never, ever. The guild gifts are horrible. Uh, what's this? Oh, okay. Okay. Prince, how many gold bloods left before book upgraded to Mythic? One. We're really close. Look, 17 out of 18. Three greens, two purples. I'm really close. I just need like a double purple drop and boom, we got it. But no way. <gasps> Yo, we just went through 7 million energy and I got two greens and a blue. Oh my God, chat. We did not get it. Oh my god. Are you shitting me? Are you actually shitting me right now? Seven million energy and we didn't get it. We got a, we got one blue and two greens. I don't believe it. That is just fuck. It. Oh my god. What the fuck? Well, that sucks, doesn't it? <sighs> Shit. Man, it's so annoying. It's so annoying, man. Honestly, I'm so tilted. <laughs> so tilted. 
sorry, we're just having some technical problems right now. It won't be a second. Well, brain is some energy, I know, right? Tell me about it. No chance for free to play, bro. I mean... Once I get my account working, because there seems to be some kind of problem, I will, uh... Oh my god. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, sorry. Are you fucking serious? Okay. Uh, yeah. No. Like once I get once once I get my account working, we'll we'll jump back in, guys. We're having some technical problems right now, um, but we'll we'll be back on we'll be back we'll be back in the account momentarily. Just just bear with me. Bear logged on. No, no, no. Bear didn't log on. Bear's asleep. Bear sleeping, man. So I'm going to be about five minutes, guys. Just bear with me, all right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just sending. It's like IGG sponsored. Yeah, alright, mate. I wish. Nah, I don't. Because if I was IGG sponsored, I wouldn't be able to actually have an opinion. I'd have to be all like positive all the time and polite, and wouldn't be able to give you any actual real feedback about the state of the game or anything like that. I'd have to like constantly ask this all the time if I was IGG sponsored. You can tell the difference between someone who's not IGG sponsored and someone who is because the person who is will say stupid things like Oracle's a fantastic healer. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> and then someone who's not IGG sponsored will say, yo, shove Oracle up your ass. That's what <laughs> you can say. You can tell the difference. You can tell the difference. I listen at work. You say hello, Mike. What's up, Rani? How you doing, bro? Welcome, welcome, welcome. No idea, Shirag. I don't think the whole guild is. It's probably just like one player. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my. God, this is gonna absolutely suck. This is good. This, <laughs> oh my God, guys, this is gonna. You know what? I might just say fuck it and not bother with this because it's gonna actually suck. I'll be like 30 seconds, peeps. I'm almost done.
All right. Now, look, if we don't get it now, right? If we don't get it now, then I will, um, I will wait. Let's put this back up a sec. If we don't get, if we don't get it now, I will, um, I will wait until, I don't know, wait until it comes out in the, uh, the tycoon, the special tycoon or something. Because, um, because it comes in here, doesn't it? The next one's going to be Serpent, June Cause. But on the rotation after this, it will be, um, it will be Necrosis. So I can get it from inside here and it'll be a lot easier to do that. Um, but let's see where we are at the moment with the, with the amount of commons I just picked up. So we are currently... <laughs> Yo. Okay, free we're going we're going to get it done today. We're getting it done today, peeps. All right, free free commons, three greens. Fuck me, man. I tell you what. I hate my life sometimes. It's so annoying. I hate IGG sometimes for making me do this this morning. Uh okay, free commons, free greens, free blues, free purples and 17 golds. We need one common. Okay. And I've got way too many chests now. I've got 555 chests. I don't need all this. There's the common. We got the one common. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The one common has arrived. We asked for one common and we got one common. There it is. We have 500 extra chests. The drop rate on these chests is absolute shit. Now watch me get a gold drop. Uh, no, we get green. Please, I don't want a gold drop. Do not give me a gold drop. Six commons. Good, 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 good. Keep giving me shit. I got nothing. Okay, great. I got one green. That's good. And one green. That shows you how bad these chests are. They're awful. But either way, we don't care because, ladies and gentlemen, we have now all of the bloods to do this. There it is, peeps. Boom! 18 bloods. Now, we do need to get embers. Um, hmm. Okay, so we have 17. We need 17 and we've got eight. Okay. Um... We need that. Hmm. We need this. Okay. Yeah, about those embers. Okay. Um, I'll be another couple of minutes, guys. <clears throat> yeah, so, yeah, just give me a second. Um, just gonna be a couple of minutes. <laughs> just a couple. <laughs> Just gonna be <laughs> just gonna be a couple of minutes uh, while we just sort that out. Give me two seconds, or we just uh, just dive in here and see what's up. Uh, there we go. Just gonna grab uh, just gonna grab something quickly. It won't be a minute. Oh my god, it's not going to do this to every single one, is it? Fuck my life. So basically, I'm trying to buy a couple of packs to get my uh, embers. And every single time I go to purchase a pack, it's asking me to authenticate. And like, you know, like two-factor authentication. Every single transaction is asking me to authenticate. It's so frustrating because it takes like three times as long to get a pack. It's so dumb. I don't understand why. Like, I've just authenticated, so why do I need to authenticate again? You know it's me. Let me get what I want to get. Why I got to keep going through all these processes just to get a $5 pack? Like, seriously? Hello? It's just dumb. I understand the need to maybe ask once, but like, why do you have to have to ask me on every single time I press this button to get one? 
Please authenticate that you actually want to make this purchase. Uh, yes, I've done it already. Why have I got to do it again? It doesn't matter how much it is. Five bucks, one dollar. It's asking me to authenticate every single transaction. It's so frustrating. It's just dumb. I understand security is important, but fuck me, man. It's, 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 a, bit, it's a bit OTT, isn't it? A bit over the top. the app go back to this this is why i'm not doing it on stream because i knew it i knew it was going to do this it was doing it before i went live so i knew when i went live it was going to keep asking me to authenticate and i didn't want to do that on stream so that's why i'm just sitting here like this on my phone yo perk thank you for the gifted sub man i appreciate it and also coffee link thank you for the 199 super chat hey prince did you see a lot of bot scams lately no I've seen a lot of bots in Lords Mobile, but not bot scams. Oh my God, it doesn't upgrade. What the fuck? No way. No, it doesn't upgrade to a 50. No way. Oh yeah, yeah, never, never mind, never mind, never mind. 50 pence, 50 pence, I mean. Hang on a minute. Go on, ask me again. There we go. Of course, there it is. Please authenticate that you are human and you actually want to get this. Even though we've asked you 10 times this morning if you're purchasing stuff and you've confirmed it's you every single time, we want to just confirm once again that you are actually wanting to make this purchase. Holy shit. Please, someone save me. This is, this is mind-numbing. Are you sure you want to buy this? You've only bought a few this morning. We've checked every single time. Nah, I just thought I'd do it for the fun of it, you know? All right. That's it. If we don't have enough, we don't have enough. I ain't doing no more today. That's it. Shop shut. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. The shop is indeed shut. If we don't get this off the back of this, then I'm going to just call it a day for the day on the Croesus, I think. I just want to get it done. It's been sitting there for ages and I've had enough looking at it. I just want it done. Um, okay. All right, so we got some chests. Let's go and see where we're at with the commons, first of all. Um, we are currently nine out of ten, nine out of 17 with three purples. All right, so I need seven and a purple gonna be tough it's gonna be tough i didn't get the full run oh it's gonna be tough i don't know if we're gonna do it we'll try 75 we got the common we got the green we got the blue we got the purple we've got the gold you know what that means ladies and gentlemen it's a full house, baby. Let's go. All right. Free, free golds off the bat. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Three golds off the bat with 75 chests. Hell yeah. All right. Good, good. Nice. That's, that's a banger of a drop. Let's go. All right. All right. We're on track. We're on track. Come on, game. Come on. You gave me shit luck this morning with these necrosises. Now make up for it. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. It's the gray. It's the green. It's the blue. It's the purple. It's the gold. It's a full house, baby. Let's go, baby. Full house again. All right. Okay. I see you. Let's get it. 200 left. Come on now. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, two golds. Yeah, come on then. Let's get it. Two gold. Oh, yo, what's this luck? Yo, Bob, thanks for turning on the button, baby. Oh, hell yeah. There's two golds and a purple and greens. Yo, I'm getting the dopamine, guys. The dopamine's hitting. Let's get it. 
All right, cool. We're getting it. And then the last hundred. Here it comes. Another goal. Another full house, baby. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this shit. What are the massive drops? Dropping bangers over here on the ember chests. Woohoo. All right. Look at that. We did it. We did it, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. All right. Nice. Yo, the necrosis drops sucked ass this morning. They sucked ass this morning. But damn, those ember drops were insane. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Done. Done. All right. Cool. Upgrade. Let's go. Oh, we got 20 now. <laughs> We're three over. We got like 10 golds from 375 chests. That's insane. 10 gold embers. No, wait. I, how many did I have? I had nine. So I got 10, almost at pretty much 11. Like 11 golds from 375. Um, 375 was it? No, 575. Was it 500 or 300? No, it was 500. 575 ember chests and we got 11 golds from that. That's actually pretty good. Okay, no, I'm not doing another book. <laughs> Don't need another book. Ladies and gentlemen, we are upgrading the Book of the Dead to Mythic. Let's go. Boom. Oh, hell yeah. Get out of here, embers. embers. We don't need you. Okay. Boom. There it is. Oh, nice. Now we can go up to my 208. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We can go up to my 208. At the moment, it's set for cavalry because it's cav and 208, this setting. But if we change this to 208, which would consist of my champion light, and it would also consist of my champion faith and my second champion faith. And now, ladies and gentlemen, bringing it to you, the new and fully upgraded Book of the Dead. There it is, ladies and gents. My 208 is looking saucy. That looks nice. Yeah, I want to look at the stats. I want to see the stats. Let me take this out. I want to go check the stats. I want to see the stats. I want to see what it looks like. I'm, I'm rejeweling. It's totally worth. I'm rejeweling. I want to see what the stats look like. That looks rather tasty. I have to say, you guys, ladies and gentlemen, that, 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 that looks very, very tasty. That is a very, very, very nice looking 208 set, if I don't say so myself. And this Mythic, you can see here, if we take my camera away just for a second, you can see here Mythic and Fully Jeweled. This is coming in at 55 attack for infantry, 55 attack for cavalry, 28 cavalry defense. 21% infantry max HP. And then you've got army HP from the champion jewel, 15%. And then some travel speed on there as well from the champion jewel. But I mean, it's a very, very nice accessory uh, to have in a 208. Oh, uh, looks very nice, doesn't it, eh? Now it's Astra time. Oh, hell yeah. We got like a whole bunch of Astralite on the Croesus. So maybe we might get one level or two. <laughs> um... Not expecting miracles off this. I got 20 normal astralite. I don't know where that come from, actually. Where did that come from? I don't know where 20 normal astralite come from. I don't know. Uh, but I've also got 1,151 necrosis astralite. So we're going to go and astralite my new, my new thing. Let's go take a look. Ah, my favorite screen. Here we go. <laughs> was it 375 chest? It wasn't. It was 575. That was 375. Damn. Oh, we smashed it. We smashed it. 375 chests and I got 11 gold embers. That's insane. All right, peeps. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, we're going to do gambles, of course. Of course, we're going to do gambles. Um, now, I'm going to use the Necrosis Astra first before I touch the good Astra. And we're going to do 2% gambles. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. We're doing 2% gambles. Let's see how many levels we can get out of this Necrosis uh, Book of the Dead doing 2% gambles. I got like over 1100 of this Astra. So let's just, let's just see. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, actually, straight, straight into the gang. And that's the good point, actually. Uh, monsters, no. Monsters, no. That, no. Holy stars, yeah. That can stay there for a sec. Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, that many 2%? Yeah. Or do 20%. Okay. Alright, 20%. Alright. Bowed. Bowed. That's good, isn't it? Bow. What the fuck? Bow. <laughs> Yo, 20% sucks. Look at this shit. What the fuck? You know, you know what I mean? How is this 20%? Guys, this is what you get caught. This is called getting wrecked. Look at this shit. You see this? We've gone through half of it already. I haven't even got one level yet. And I'm doing 20% rolls. What the... Wow. Holy shit, man. Yo, IGG. What the fuck's going on, man? That ain't no 20%. You took out over half the astrolite for 20%. That sucks. I'm doing 2%. That sucked. I know, man. The luck was shit. How bad was that? That was awful. I don't get me wrong. We've had some insane luck in the past, but that was fucking horrible. At this rate, I might as well just go ahead and fucking activate it at 420 and just get the second level done. Fuck it. Whatever. Just do it. That was sucked. All right. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try it again, but this time I'm gonna use real astralite, and I'm gonna do. Four, we're, gonna, we're gonna basically, we're gonna do. We're gonna do like four goes at twenty, four goes at five to see if we can get this at twenty percent. Yeah, twenty percent. Let's see if we get it. The luck is awful, isn't it? Oh, that was nice. All right, cool, cool, cool. Three percent. Hmm. Uh, okay. Mm, 15 is literally 26%. I might as well just do low gambles on these and see if I get it. I ain't got much of it. I ain't got, I mean, there's not a lot of astralite here, so it's whatever. Wow, only three levels. That kind of sucked. I thought we would actually get a, like maybe five or six, but. Mm. Okay, well, screw it. We got three levels. <laughs> kind of poop, but hey ho, three at level three Astro on it at the moment. That, that, oh, those um, those twenty percent, those twenty percent were kind of shit, weren't they? Those big twenty percent we done on the monster Astro, like loads of them fouled. That was insane. But hey ho, it is what it is. Sometimes you have good luck, as we've seen today. Sometimes you have bad luck. You've seen both good luck today and bad luck, so you see both sides of the coin. I guess you can't have no yin without some yang, right? Um, anyway, that's where we're at. Three Astra on the uh, on the Book of the Dead. And yeah, we'll have to keep working on that to try and level that up to like maybe seven or eight or something. Try and get it up a little bit. Uh, but there you go. Book of the Dead. Let's go and take a look at the stats and see what the stats look like. I'm kind of curious what my 208 stats look like. Um, so I would normally go and just say, oh, there it is, 208. And we need to get Fury. Oops. Wrong button. Um, scout this. Oh, look, that guy's got insane reflexes. Wow. Did you see this? Yo, chat. Mido. Wow. You've just won the gold award, bro, for having the fastest reflexes in Lords Mobile. Congratulations. Literally, this guy, his gameplay is sitting there staring at the screen with his finger on the pull button waiting for someone to scout him or attack his tile and he will be ready at any moment of the day that you do this because that's his ultimate gameplay he eats pisses shits washes showers at his phone waiting for someone to literally go and scout or attack his tile and he will instantly pull from the tile Mido, the number one resource gatherer in lords mobile with 128 billion food sent what an absolute mad lad mido will be coming soon to your artifact challenge rankings
Anyway, um, Brent Rim Fury, Brent Fury, and we've got um, Talents on. Good. All right, let's go see what my 2A looks like. Guys, tell me if tell me if this is any good. Do I have a, do I have a lead? Is it level sixty? It's level fifty seven. That doesn't really matter. I'm not looking. I don't care about the army stats for the moment. Um, tell me if this is good enough. Two oh eight. Oh. Nine hundred and fifty imp and one thousand two hundred and eight calf. Is that any good? And then army is like what? Army HP seven fifty. And then 409 army attack. The army attack would be a little bit higher if I had a level 30, level 60 lead, but I've only got a level 57 lead. A 409 army attack, 750 army HP on a uh, 208 blast. 950, 1208. You reckon that's good enough? I think that's all right. It's not shit. I think it's all right. It's not maxed, obviously, but I think it's I think it's I think it's acceptable. 950, 1208. What do you reckon on that? Check helm, no jewels. Everything's got good for free to play. Yeah, it's not bad for free to play. Yeah. Not good enough. Spend more. Okay. Thanks for the advice. All right, cool. So we can just put this in there like that. And then put this in there like that. And then like that. And then like that. Yeah, stats ain't too bad. Good for DN. The fuck? What do you mean good for DN? Good for DN? Jesus. Okay. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. I've been working on this for months. You know I've been working on this for months. I've done a few live streams before when we went hunting for it. It ended up costing me a bit more than I was really wanting to do. I thought I was hoping that after buying a full run of fortune chests this morning and bursting with riches, that it would be enough to go and get like two purples from the level fives. Boy, oh boy, was I wrong. Once again, Lords Mobile's fantastic drop rate came in strong and stopped me from getting the stuff I wanted from Monster Hunting. And I had to go off and buy packs to finish it off, which sucked ass, to be honest with you. I didn't want to do it, but it is what it is. I wanted to finish it today. It is now finished. I've just got to keep working on the Astrolite now. I'm not really in a massive rush to level that up, but I'll keep working on it slowly. Um, and yeah, Mythic Book of the Dead done. As far as my gear goes now, as far as things I'm actually... That looks so good. I really like the look of that 208. It looks really good. I'm really happy with that. Um, as far as my gear goes, the only other things I'm working on now are this ring, the second ring. I got the first ring obviously done. Uh, the second ring I am working on, but this is still quite far away. Uh, five out of 18 to go to uh, Mythic. So we're still like 13 golds away from getting this. So that's going to take a little bit longer before we actually finish that for sure. But that's going to be the next thing I work on. Unless I make a decision to build that Eon Axe. I still haven't decided if I should build it or not. Because in my cav, this is not that. This is probably still best in slot for my cav blast. Just switching out the infantry jewel for a Garg jewel is all I have to do. And that's probably best in slot at level 12 Astra. This sword is probably still best in slot for my cav blast, right? So I don't really see the point. Re and it's only 4k gems to switch out one jewel. And boom, I've got the best in slot cav main hand. I don't really see if they think there's a point to me building this. I just don't see it, guys. I just don't think I don't think there's any point in me even going through the stress of building this thing. Even at even when I've done it, it's not going to be better than the, the main hand I got. I don't think I should build it. I think I might just leave that alone. The only other thing I'm building is the is the dagger, but that I got that gold right now. It's purple. Okay, thirteen out of fifteen. Look, this is really close. Almost fourteen. Look, this thing's really close to going to gold. And then obviously you got to try and get. I got to then work again to get up to mythic. But working on this, so the venom blade I'm working on, and the other ring. But that's about it at the moment. The ring and the blade. Really happy to have the Book of the Dead done, though. That's great. Super, super happy to have that done. Finally. Finally. I have the Book of the Dead in my 208 Blast. It looks beautiful. Very nice. That was an awesome grind. Finally completed. Yeah, I mean, I did, I done most of it through Monster Hunting, to be fair. A little bit through the Tycoon, and then I bought a few packs. But most of it was done through grinding. 
So yeah, definitely cost me a lot less than what I would have done if I'd have bought it all through packs. That's for sure. Like I, I've done a lot of hunt. I mean, you still have to buy the the monster energy, I guess. So it still costs a fair bit when you add up all the monster energy, but not as much as it would have done if I bought just the normal packs for it. Because the chests are awful. They're so bad. Oh, look at this. Nice. Free Holy Star quest. Cool. 8,000 Holy Stars. Let's go. Guild Fesh Bass in four hours. Yeah, about that. That sounds good to me. I'm going to I'm gonna finish the stream after I've done... Exp we'll finish off Extravaganza. And then I'll end the stream. And I'll be back. I'll take a little break. And then I'll boot up the stream to go and have some fun on the rally trap. Let's go, chat. 290 odd watching, only 103 likes. Come on, hit that like button. Absolutely, chat. What are we doing? Smash that like button, guys. There's a bunch of you here. We've only got 106 likes. That's criminal right there, guys. Smash that like button. Let's go. Let's get those likes up, peeps. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll make a deal with you, chat. I don't know if you can do it, but I like to give you guys challenges. If you can get to 300 likes before I finish this stream while I'm doing the rest of this extravaganza. If you can get to 300, that's a lot of likes. That's another 190 likes. It means you've actually got to take the time to press the thumbs up button. I know, stressful, but if you press the like button, right, and we get to 300 by the stream, I'll give away, I don't know, so let's, let's say two prizes of 30,000 gems. Ooh, that's a cheeky one, yeah. I'll give away two prizes of 30,000 gems to two lucky people in the stream that Nightbot can pick out. But you got to get me to 300 likes first. And then if we do that, we'll give away 60,000 gems. So I'll leave it in your hands, chat. You can decide if you want that or not. Okay, two guardians. What's up, Sirus? It's going good, bro. How you doing? All right. Giveaway is rigged. <laughs> I haven't even asked Nightbot to find the winner yet, and Sujil's already in the chat. Giveaway is rigged. Giveaways are not rigged, bro. It's just that Nightbot picks who Nightbot picks. That's it. 69,000 gems. Yeah, Langer, we could do 69,000 gems. <laughs> oh, 70k. I'll do 70k. Giveaway from Nightbot. Yeah, I'll get you guys to put a word in the chat, and I'll get Nightbot to pick one of you guys as the winner. But we've got to get to 300 likes. 300 likes and we do a giveaway on gems. Two of you can win some gems. But if you don't get it done by the time I'm ready to finish the stream, we'll have to wait until the next time to possibly do a giveaway. Mm. No, you can't win twice. I do not even play Lords, but love your streams. Thank you, Stone Cold. I appreciate that. Uh, Come out of here a sec. Wait, 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 wait. How many... Have I hit any bosses yet? No, I haven't hit any bosses yet. Okay. Let's go. Come on. What's up, song editor? How you doing? Prince! Don't write in capital letters, though, because Nightbot will snipe you. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> come on, game. Let's get some bosses. Let's get this extravaganza done nice and quick. The other day I was doing extravaganza. It just seems to take ages sometimes to do this thing, doesn't it? I mean, I actually prefer uh, extravaganza to Guildfest just because it is just so much faster. You know what I mean? Came back to the game after three years, says Varen yesterday. Saw Mythic Champs getting zeroed, now leaving this game again. <laughs> Mythic Champ players get zeroed if they get capped. Or if they just go... I mean, end of the day, right? The way the game is right now, anybody can get zeroed if they stay offline. That's the truth of it, right? Anybody can get zeroed nowadays if they stay offline long enough. Like, I can go up to someone that's got 100 million troops in gear, but if they're offline and leave me to start smacking them. I'll zero them out pretty quickly. It won't take long. Not once I break that front line down, they're done. It's just... Stop. All right, let's finish the combo off. It's just, uh, yeah, the game's like that nowadays. 
Thank you very much, Daniel. I appreciate that. Oh, let's get this finish. Let's finish. There we go. Grab this. Grab that. And grab that. Nice. There's one. Uh, 8,000 holy stars. Okay. Let's go do 8,000 holy stars. Mm hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, Cav Foul and 100 million troops. You're done in five rallies, right? Exactly. Exactly. You have me stuck on Legend of Mushroom. I'm hooked. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying it, bro, because I'm really enjoying that game too. It's a really good game. Um, right, wait a sec. Back over here. Oh, I need to do one more. Oh, there's tokens in there. One more hit. There you go. All right, grab this. Um, spend 26 tokens. Have I got any tokens left? I don't know if I used them all the other day. Um, sugar lumps. Let's just grab a couple of those. Oh, champion chests are in here at the moment. I don't need champion chests, but... Oh, there's one. Oh, we got an ember. And a Gemin Gremling. Yeah, free it doesn't take many rallies if someone gets caught in cav foul. Because the first rally will pretty much kill all the cav. But unless they've got tons, and it might take two rallies to get rid of all the cav. But then once the cav's gone, it's game over. Why did it stop? Go. <laughs> we actually won a jackpot in the tycoon the other day didn't we we got um we got three by three bags the other day inside here 1.3 million gems kind of nice doesn't happen very often i think that's like the second time i've won the big jackpot inside tycoon the three bags doesn't happen very often but it's nice when it does it's kind of ironic, actually, because I was talking during that stream that I would I literally ran out of gems during that stream because I was training tier five and stuff. And then, boom, I come in a tycoon and bang, got 1.3 mil gems. It was actually kind of nice. And I gave the stream 130,000 gems because that's how it goes. If I win something, you guys get 10%. It's always been that way. That's why I like winning jackpots, because if I win a jackpot, I get to give the stream a bunch of gems. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two. Okay. And there we go. That's done. Oh, free roll. Once I won 250,000 gems on a daily free roll. Nice. Yo, you can't grumble about that, bro. Winning that on a free roll. That's nice. Okay. 100. Okay, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't. Do, do you want me to sit here and do this? Like, do you want. <laughs> Do you want me to do it? Are you, are you guys all right with this? You're right watching me do extravaganza. I mean, it's not a Dark Magister one, so you know I don't care about it because it's Lightweaver. But if you want me to stay on like live and do it, I will. But I'm just, I'm, I'm just thinking. Do you guys, do you guys want me to do this? Because I've still got a way to go on this. Still got like six, seven, eight hundred points to do. So, you, you guys want me to carry on doing this? Just checking with you because I know you guys. You're the you guys are the ones that are watching, so I'm just checking with you. You going to the gym? Okay, good man. Good, that's good. Go on Legends of Mushroom. Oh, we could do Legends of Mushroom while we're waiting. Ooh, yeah, that's actually a really good. You know what, bro? That's a pog idea. Okay, give me two seconds. I need a minute to set up. Hold on. We could just watch the timers on Extravaganza while we're doing this. Yeah, I love that idea. I don't, I don't have any clicks to do, I don't think, though, because I've done all my clicks already, right? Yo, somebody's in my garden stealing my cabbages again. Why are you guys always thieving from me, though? Hold on a minute. I need to try and move the screen over. Hold on. Uh, Legends of Mushroom. Mm Okay. I'm just going to put it over here on the right, away from the timers. Um, 
Ta-da! <laughs> Look at that! High, high level production value over here. Alright, cool. Because I mean, now I can see the timers and I can do a bit of both. So, what's this? Increase my. No, I don't want that. Actually, no, I, don't, I ain't got no speed ups. Um, okay. So this is where I'm at. Look at my look at my gear. Look at my gear, guys. I've got almost full aura skin now. The problem is not all of it is uh, got the right skills on that I need. Yo, who's in my? Yo, what is this? Oh no, he's too big. I can't get him out. <laughs> Smiley's massive. He's 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 way bigger than me. I can't push him out. He's too strong. I don't think anybody in our guild can push him out. He's, I think he's stronger than everybody in our guild. Well, I'm gonna plant new flowers so he knows I've come online and can see him. <laughs> Yeah, I can't push him out. He's too big. He's too big a player. Okay, let's go over to Parking Wars and grab these. Ooh, we get all this nice good. I love this new update they brought out yesterday. It's so good. If you don't know how this works, by the way, I've got a video on my channel showing you how to do this. Ooh, I've got a power on that one. Let's go. Ooh, I've got another red. Two red power drops. Look at this. Damn, and a key. Holy shit. Yo, I got some good at that. Yo, I tell you what. This is Pog. I love this new update. This new update is so good. What's the what's the hell event that's on right now? Uh, oh, let's train soldiers. I'm not training soldiers. Okay, delete that. Okay. Yo, that's actually Pog. Um, okay, I gotta wait the cooldown probably before I can put these back out again. I'm trying to find another car park lot. Hold on. Past the net. Park there. Alright. Can I do another one or I gotta wait for the cooldown? Yeah, two minutes. Alright, cool. Wait two minutes. That's fine. Um. That's the wrong one. Shit, I clicked on the wrong thing. That's it. Uh, auto mine. Go. Boom. Thank you. And grab that. I don't care about the gems. Keep digging. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. Oh, that's fine. Uh... By the way, that's my skills right now. My skills are looking pretty good. I managed to get um, SS skill damage on everything other than one. One of them's got an A grade. But yeah, look over that skill damage I got there. It's pretty good, isn't it? We stack in that skill damage, ladies and gents. We stack in that skill damage. You have empty slots. Always have your cars out, bro. Always have your cars out, dude. Okay, what's over here? Ooh, five, five, grim and grim. Mm. Mm. It means I gotta use gems. I don't mind using gems on tokens, to be fair. Uh, right, just grab me a hundred, and then I ain't gotta worry about it. And then we need to do five, so just do just do forty. That should be fine. Okay. Um. Yeah, so that's done. Uh, let's go over here. Enhance. Enhance. Nice. Nice. Okay. I'm on Chaos 3. That's where I'm up to at the moment. I got to Chaos 3, 3, 1. And I'm 19.4 million power. So that's jumped up a nice amount. Also, something that um, they updated as well. There's actually a couple of other parts of the update that I haven't covered yet in the videos, which I'm going to cover in upcoming videos is there's a new event here another version of server so cross server showdown i don't know how this works it starts in one day 19 hours but this is where our actual whole server is going up against other servers and it tells you about it here it says invade other servers by projecting your character during the daily teleport teleportation period Choose your class. I'm, I'm not going to go through all this now. I'm going to do it in a video. But there's, there's a big SVS event coming up. And there's some pretty cool rewards. And in the exchange here, you can get like new skills. Look at these. Crimson Moonfall. Look at that thing. That looks really good. And then you've got an arrow one here for archers. 
And then there's a warrior one here as well with damage resistance and stuff on it. This is cool. Yo, there's some there's some good shit. There's some good stuff coming out. Um, also, the other thing I noticed as well as part of the recent update is they updated the family shop as well. Um, oh, would you like my towel? Can you see my towel wagging behind me? Oh, every, oh, yo, loads of people got towels in TWK. Look at this. <laughs> or TWS with the worthy shrooms. Look at all the towels wagging. That's hilarious. Yeah, I got a waggy towel now. Um, hang on. Let me stop this. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Thank you. Um, 20, delete that. Um, yeah, they updated the family shop. So they've actually got some new items in here. Stuff that is actually quite difficult to pick up. They've got feather coins in here, which is kind of cool. They've got keys. Uh, soul crystals are even in here, which is kind of nice. Um, and then you've got all the other stuff as well. They've also organized it better in here. So all the stuff is like together. It's much better organized now. And then you've got all the lamps and the, the skill tickets and power tickets and stuff. Like they're all on the research stuff. It's pretty cool. And then at level eight, you get the gold ones. And they've got the red cogs in here as well. Like, I'm really surprised they put those in there because they only normally come in packs. But you can now get them free to play. All of the all the stuff that is in the packs, which you probably buy, you can actually grind and get free to play, including the red cogs now too. That's pretty dope, to be honest with you. I'm going to grab these. I'm grabbing 50 of those little bad boys. Look at those. Ooh. I'm getting those, man. And I'm going to come out here and put them on my little towel feather thing. All right, so I'm going to put it on. I'm going to level this. I want to get the next one, which is the wolf towel. you got to get all your things to level 60. So let's do the attack. Let's do the attack. There we go. Ooh. Upgrades. Wow. Ooh, 821% of guard between now. Nice. Look at that. Level 28. You know. It takes longer. The more you level up, the more tokens it takes. That's the way it goes, right? But up to 821% now on the attack on that thing. That's pretty cool. And then they added a new talent tree, which is kind of cool as well. Like I've done this as much as I could up to 6 out of 20 so far. So that's cool. And then you can go down here and get more stuff. So they've got like a talent tree in here now, which is nice. And also the back, the back accessories, which are, which are going to be probably in events, I would imagine. So yeah, that was a pretty cool update, man. Plus the parking thing they brought in as well, the mount parking. That's a massive update. You love the changes? Yeah, I love the changes there as well, bro. Um, I got loads of videos and stuff on the channel as well. If any of you guys are interested in playing the mushroom game, I got loads of, I got a really good beginner's guide on the channel as well. So just check out the beginner's guide before you start. And uh, yeah pretty good stuff uh 26 there we go let's get that going we'll see if i beat this boss i'm stuck on this dragon man this dragon's ripping me to pieces i don't know if that little attack boost i just done is going to give me the chance to beat him or not he does so much damage to me come on stun him stun him stun him stun him and i'm dead <laughs> Ah, this dragon is a pain in the butt. Um, I've also got upgrades here I can do. Okay. All right. Using up my relics. So I don't save everything for the rushes. I pick one thing and I save it and I work on that. I don't save everything so I can still level up at the same time. Uh, right now, I'm saving up skill tickets. You can see I got 4,498 skill tickets. I'm saving skill tickets at the moment for the skill rush when it comes around. I'm in Chaos 5 and they are really tough. You're in Chaos 5? Damn, bro. You, that's really good. Like, I'm struggling a little bit because I'm a mage. Right? I was talking to Morbid about this this morning. It was ba we basically agreed that the... Um, what's it called? The uh, the crossbow is insane for PVE. It's really good. 
um, and the, and the and the warrior is really good in PvP. Uh, the mage is kind of like an all rounder. It's okay in PvP. It's okay in PVE. That's how we kind of feel about it. But we definitely would like to see the mage get a bit of a power boost. I think it's going to be a dark horse. I tell you, I'm going to come through strong, guys. I'm telling you, I'm sticking with the. Uh, I'm sticking with the mage. I've decided to go Dark Lord right at the start when I started playing, and I'm sticking with it. I'm happy with my choice. Okay. How many likes are we on right now? 163. Oh man, there's not going to be no gems given away today, guys. Not if we if we if we get that number up. Uh, if you haven't pressed the like button, please do. Please do smash that like button so we can get those gems given away in Lords. That'd be awesome. Um, okay. That's done. So let me go ahead over here. Click that. Not worried about that. And 8,000 stars. Oh my God. What the, what the frick is that? Did I just drop an Aura's piece? Yo, did I just drop an Aura's piece in uh, Mushroom? No way, I got an Aura's piece. What the heck? Hold on a minute. <laughs> I need to have a look at it. I can't see it. I think I just got an Aura's piece in Mushroom, didn't I? I can't see it. Hang on. Wait. Counter Strike and Evasion. Oh, no, bruh. It's not a W. It is a W drop, but it's also not a W drop. Oh, no. It's the wrong skills, guys. I'm going to take a... Oh, that's not good. I'm going to take it. I mean, I have to take it, right? It's Aurus. But still, it's not the right one. It's the wrong talents at the bottom. Um. Okay. No worries. Oh, I nearly, I nearly just dismantled my... Uh... <laughs> I nearly just dismantled my um, champion light by accident then. Do you reckon IGG would have given it back to me with my 12 Ashelite on it? If I deleted it by accident. How do you reckon that conversation would have gone if I'd have gone to IGG and said I was live streaming and I accidentally deleted my champion light with level 12 Astro on it. Can I have it back, please? Could you give it back to me, please? Do you reckon they would? Or do you reckon they'd say no? I wonder. I'm not doing it to find out before you ask. Um, give me two seconds, guys. I'm just sorting out something. Okay. All right. So this is the Aurus Versatile Charisma. It looks like a cabbage coat. Yeah, it's a big HP boost. The attack boost is about 700. I'm going to take it, but I'm losing skill crit and stun. That hurts. That's why it's only 133,000 increase because it's losing the two stats I need. Okay. Oh, man. Well, there's just one Aurus piece missing, which is the boots, the Aurus boots. And then I need to just try and re-roll the Aurus pieces and get the ones which fit my skills a bit better. Yeah, when switching to Aurus gear, everybody's going to take the initial drop. Absolutely. That's what I always do. I always recommend you do that when you're, when you're, when you're rolling the lamp to try and get upgraded pieces of gear, like an, a whole new upgrade regardless what stats you get you should take it because of the high hp attack gains can i beat that dragon now i got that let's try i don't know maybe oh that was a massive hp boost wasn't it yo this dragon is still making me his bitch look at this i got smacked again this dragon just won't die bro Guys, I'm almost full Aurus and I still can't beat this dragon. What the actual heck? Okay, that was a crit. That was a big, big crit. If I can get a big crit on the second rotation of that main main thing, I, got, I need a stun first. No, he's going to kill me again. Stun him! No! Oh, come on! It's so frustrating. Come on. 
absolutely annihilating him. He's got no life left. He's dead. You're dead. There's no way you beat me this time. There's no way. Get that out of it. Get, get yo, dragon, lick my balls. Get out of here. <laughs> yo, we got him. We got him, guys. Let's go. Let's go. We got him. Nice. Now we've got to kill nine more dragons <laughs> to get past world three. Actually, doesn't it rotate between dragons and something else on world three? I can't remember. Yes, they will give you give back to you because of how important you are to Bob. Ah, okay. Losing crit and stun. Yeah, I know, I know, but you got to take the Aorus upgrade, bro. Why did they even allow you to delete gear? I know, it's stupid. Like, why would you want to delete gear for? Did I miss the Guildfest bash? No, 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 Tiny Tank. We're doing it in a few hours. I just, this morning I was monster hunting and I was upgrading my Book of the Dead to Mythic, which we did. And I put some Astra on it. Not a lot because we got bad luck. Um, and right now we're just doing guild extravaganza but while we're waiting for the timers rather than looking at the timers which are really annoying we are playing mushroom game at the same time so three two the thing is it's not just about killing the three two boss it's about getting to the three two boss because these minions do actually kill me let that play out for a minute um can i beat this thing i don't know if i can beat this or not I tried this this morning and it was like, no, you're not. <laughs> it ran out of time. It had too much life. Well, that's looking pretty good right now. Come on, let's go. Smoke bomb. Here comes the stun. Nice. Here comes the blade pierce and the big, big crit. Okay, didn't crit. That's a shame. I'm gonna run out of time here. Come on, come on, come on. Big smoke bomb. Nice. Here comes the meteor to finish and he is dead. Let's go. All right, nice, nice. I actually beat that that time. All right, cool. All right, let's kill this thing. I should be able to kill this thing. This thing's going to die instantly. Come on, come on, come on. If he hits me, I'm going to get hurt. Uh-oh. He missed. Missed again. <laughs> get wrecked. All right, snake. Okay. Nice, that was good damage. Okay, this thing's going to wipe my clone out in one hit. I know it. Oh, my God. Almost one hit. Yeah, he's dead. Bye. All right, now here comes the dragon. Now, this is where it gets more difficult. The dragon is a pain in the ass. If I beat this, I get 10. Ooh. I get 10 soul crystals if I beat this. Come on. Yeah, he's got this one's a bit more difficult. But he's going down. His life's going down. His damage is going to be good, though. Ooh. Okay, he killed my clone. It's looking good, though. It's looking good. He's got a tiny bit of life left. Can we finish it? Come on. Yeah, we go. Nice. I got the 10 crystals. Sweet. And I've just done level 300. I'm on 301. Let's go and do the summon. On the boss. On the on the campaign quest. Let's speed it up a little bit. And he killed me. Okay. What's this? Oh, I can wait to this one. Um, go ahead and do this. Do that and that. Is that enough? Have a look. And no, it's not enough. Okay, come out. Go back in there. We'll go ahead and use another brave heart. That's enough. There we go. And that gives us 300. We can claim another one. Boom. All right, got 600 points to go. Let's wait for the more timers to come up. All right, okay, so let's go and do the summon and see if we get lucky. Acquisition, soul prayer. Let's see. I got two golds. I mean, that's not bad, but it's the red ones you want. I've only got two reds right now. I've only got the defense and the HP. Okay, no worries. Uh, let's go over to salvage and salvage those. There we go. And... We'll go ahead and see if we can upgrade crit resistance. There we go. The only ones I'm really working on are crit resistance, HP bonus, and I put some in defense. The other ones like crit damage is not skill crit. So that's no good for me. Combo damage is no good for me. Counter damage is no good for me. Attack bonus kind of is because it's just your standard attack. So this is okay leveling up. Um, and basic attack damage. 
Like basic attack and attack bonus. Those two, I guess, are okay to level up. And the and the, the top three here. But these three over the back here, I don't bother. Not until I get the, the red few, the level two ones, which is the skill crit. I'm trying to get the skill crit one. And eventually the pink ones when I start upgrading them to the immortal ones, eventually. It's going to be a minute before I do that, though. I'm just past 3,000 yesterday. Nice. If you change to crossbow right now, you can't change back to mage later. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can change whenever you want. You just have to go in here and click on reset. And it costs 4,000 gems. And you can reset to another character. So I could, I could reset to crossbow right now if I wanted to. But I don't want to. I want to stay as a mage. I'm going to stay as a mage. Um, let's go on that. 20 seconds. Right, let me get my stuff out before anybody else steals it. Use Durian Bomb, take it slow. Also use the Snail Power Relic. And it extends Durian Bomb. It will slow bosses to a crawl. Yeah, I know it does. I've done that before. But because my character is a mage, I need damage. Slowing down the enemy's boss is one thing, but if I don't have enough damage output, that also is counterproductive. I need to have massive damage when I when I attack things. That's where I get my strength. That's why one of my skills, I use Star Array to increase the crit. It's massive damage, this thing. I use this because it slows and it makes the damage they receive increase by 30%. And I've extended the duration of this with the relic. The same goes for disarm. This is my stun. It's very crucial. And it also is a four and a half second stun because I get an extra 50% duration on it from the relic that I got. Then blade pierce, it does so much damage, massive crit, and it gives a life leech to the enemy as well. So this is really good for massive damage. Helps me kill the enemy quicker. And then my clone, which probably isn't optimal for a mage, but is working for me at the moment because it gives me an extra shield, protects my character a little bit, and it does damage too. So it's better to use this than the mushroom shield because the mushroom clone strike is almost like a shield because it takes all the damage while it's out. And it does that does damage itself. So, yeah. I think I've got a good setup for the moment. I would like to use this. This Blitz Assault, but the refresh on it, I think, is too long. They should have shortened that to, like, 15 seconds. Because I think that's too long. 24 seconds is just stupid. It's that you get It goes off, like, twice. Once at the beginning and maybe at the end of the match. They need to lower that. I think that needs a buff. That needs to go to 15-second cooldown instead of 24. But that's, that's why I don't use it. Same goes for this one. This one's 16 seconds. This is actually really good. But I switched it out for Blade Pierce because Blade Pierce is better. And Blade Pierce goes off every 19 seconds. So it's only two seconds more. It's not a big deal. Everyone's got the clone but you. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a Polar Ring before Book of the Dead. Book of the Dead is much easier than dang Polar Ring. I mean, they're both pretty much a pain in the ass, to be fair. <laughs> they're both annoying, bro. They both cost way more than they really should, to be fair. But that's Lord's Mobile, right? Uh, okay, let's go ahead and level up some... I don't know how much more of this training I can do, but I'm going to try and do a bit more. Because it's getting me some quests done. There we go, that's another quest done. There we go. Three days. Okay, let's train some out. There you go, another quest on. Alright, cool. 120 points. Alright, see if I can beat this dragon. And I want to go back in here and try and see if I can beat the next one on this as well. He used pay to play tycoon for ring for a few res. Well, yeah, I actually done yeah, because that first ring I got, I done that because I was leveling up my polar ring in the tycoon and i was also going for the leader skin so i done two things in once i got the leader skin and i got my polar ring to mythic 
and I got so many ultra rares. I almost, I almost got the second one gold because <laughs> I've done like 21,000 coins or something in the, uh, in the in the tycoon for the leader skin. I made a decision that I wanted that leader skin, so I went ham in the tycoon. But I only need one leader skin. There's no need to have no, more than one. Ooh, I nearly beat you. I can beat this one. Come on. Come on. Die. Die, Mr. Rockman. Die. I oh, know. You done, done me good that time. Jeez. Hello, Christopher. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're doing extravaganza, peeps. I'm just... Rather than just sitting there looking at timers, I'm playing Mushroom Game at the same time. Ooh, I did it. Let's go. 302. Or 303, actually. Oh, God. This thing's hurting me. Go away. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. That was really close. Okay, let's go again. Come on, you silly puppet witch. Die. Oh, stunner, 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 stunner. Oh my god, no, it's not enough. Ah. I just need to get a bigger crit. That was, that was pretty good. Oh, the damage she does is on another level. Oh, here we go, she's dead. Oh, yes, let's go. Okay, <laughs> Get rid, oh no, it's a dragon. I know the dragons are tough in this game. Oh, this thing's gonna rip me to pieces. I can feel it already. Here he comes. Big stun. Ooh. No, no, no. He's gonna get me. No, no, no. Oh, stunned him. Oh, it's close. Oh, big stun. I ran out of time. Oh, you're sh no way. Yo, I would have beaten him. I just ran out of time. Oh, that was massive crits. Massive crits. Oh, he's gotta die this time, surely. I crit him so hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got. Yeah, he's done. Oh my god, did you see those crits? That's what I'm talking about. That 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 the mage can kick can pop off, I tell you. Those crits at the start were insane. Massive crits. His life just went meow. Alright, that's good. Big stun. Nice. I don't know if I'm gonna get it again. Oh there we go. First time. Let's go. Alright, nice. Let's go. Mr. Monkey Man. See, oh no, it's glitched out. Shit. Come back in there. It's the monkey man. Let's go. Ooh, he's got a lot of HP. He's got a lot of HP. Does a lot of damage too. Okay. I, 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 um, I don't know if I'm going to do this one. Not in this run anyway. And I didn't get enough crit. Slowing down. Oh, one second left. Oh my god, he's almost dead as well. Bruh. Run out of time. <laughs> I need to see those big crit numbers. That's what I need to see. I don't think I'm going to do it this time either. Not enough crit. He's got so much HP. Four, three, two, one. Ah. I reckon I can do that one, but I'm not going to do it right now. Um, Salvage these. There we go. And upgrade that. No. Upgrade this. There you go. Nice. Wow, Prince, you lost a lot of weight. You look different, but in a good way. Thank you, Christopher. I know I've lost a lot of weight, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you for thank you for mentioning it. <laughs> Feels good. I don't have clone either. No, we will Queen Bee Tycoon come. When will oh, when will Queen Bee Tycoon come? I don't know, dude. Um, let's go and do some skill stones. Um, match that, and that's good. One. Use that or that and do that. Look how many I got so many griffin. Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention something to you, right? I'd done something yesterday that I said I would never do in Lords Mobile. And I can't show you because I think I deleted it. I deleted it. Chat. Yesterday, I used a level 10 Grim Reaper. <laughs> I said I would never ever use this thing because it's a complete waste. But the other day when that guy, I don't know what came over me. The other day when that guy who I rallied capped me, 
I hit him with a level 10 Grim Reaper and I killed 40,000 tier 5. And I'd done it and then instantly regretted it after I'd done it because it cost like over 100,000 gems to fire that thing off. And I was like, what a waste of gems that was. But you know what? The funny thing is, after I actually used it for the first time and experienced using it myself for the first time, even though it cost over 100,000 gems, I can't deny there was a slight sense of satisfaction after it hit and I, I saw and killed out I saw I killed 40,000 of his tier 5 even though they're easily replaceable and it is a complete waste of gems there was a very slight small bit of satisfaction I got from you know Grim Reaper and him I'm actually very disappointed in myself that I used it because I, I said I would never do it and I and I did and I think it's just dumb that I did it but it is what it is right it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, right? Okay. Where's the extravaganza? Let's have a look. Collect that. Uh, 35,000 troops. I can't be asked with that. What's the hell event? Oh, I've done the hell event. Shit. Okay. Well, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. Still got like 450 points to go. It's long in it. Okay, let's hit the dragon. Whatever makes you happy. Oh, that dragon just got... Pe oh, wow, I love it when it does that. Yo, it's so cool when it does that. When that crit goes off at the start, the enemy just gets melted. That was beautiful. That was actually beautiful right there. Okay, let's try this one again. You like it? Hello, hello, baby zoo. How you doing? All right, listen, listen, yeah. Would you guys like to see a clip of the new game that I'm going to be playing? I wasn't going to show you, but I feel like you deserve it for the people that are still here hanging around. A few people left. We lost about half the stream. I know, crazy, right? We had like 300 people when I was doing the book. And as soon as the book finished, we lost half the stream. It's because I'm playing Mushroom Game and I'm and I'm got extravaganza in the background. It's not exactly exciting for people that like Lords Mobile. So I get it. Would you, for you guys that are still here, would you like to see a trailer for the game I'm playing right now? Yeah, you want to have a look? Okay, give me a second. To uh, go and get a trailer for you. And I'll show you, all right? I'm not going to boot the game up during the stream and play it on live on stream. I could, but I'm not going to. Because I'm going to make a video. Hang on a second, I'm trying to uh, get the trailer. I'll be a minute. There you go.
You know, watch this trailer with me quickly. I'll show you the new game I'm going to be playing. This game is coming out on... This game's coming out on all of the Apple stores. iStores, whatever you want to call it. Um, Apple Store, iOS, Google Play, all that stuff. It'll be available on the 18th of April. Uh, we are going to be playing it on the channel in a few days, live on stream. I'm I'm playing. I'm currently playing the game on the closed beta. So you guys, no, no, no. Ten months ago, that's just the trailer. The, 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 on the actual YouTube channel they've got, they've got new video, new new tra other trailers as well from like a few days ago. Uh, it's been in development for like a year. Um, all right. So the game's not available yet for you to download. So don't ask me for a download link because I haven't got one. Um, but the game will be available for everyone on the 18th of April. Okay. We'll be streaming on the 18th of April, playing it on day one. And um, what's it called? Uh, yeah, I'm currently playing the game right now off stream in the closed beta. I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, we're going to be playing it this weekend. I'll, I'll be playing it this weekend live. So you guys can come and check it out and get all see what's going on with it. I'll have a video up as well, I think. I'm going to do some promo on this before it comes out. And uh, yeah, we're going to be playing it on the day one, day one release. Anyway, let me just play the trailer and see what you guys think of it. Check this out. There you go. It's called Dragon Pal. There you go. Now you know what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, the game comes out um, on 18th of um, 18th of what's it called? 18th of April. Um, it's not like anything I've played before with regards to mobile games. It's like. You know what? It's really interesting, actually, because I mean, I'm playing it right now, so I'm getting used to the game mechanics of it and everything. And the way it plays, right? Just to give you an idea of what it's like, is you basically move the dragon around the screen with your finger and you have to dodge the enemy attacks and dodge the enemies. And if you hold your finger on the dragon while you move it around, it fires, fires it like bullets well, and then a little fireballs constantly. And if you take your finger off the phone, the mouth opens up and it sucks in all the enemy bullets and then you press the dragon again and it fires them out in like a combo back at the enemies it's kind of cool you absorb the enemy fire and fire it back at the enemies some enemies some enemy fire you can absorb some you can't and you've got to dodge the enemies as well so when sometimes they send projectiles at you some of which you can absorb and some of which you can't so you've got to tap you've got to skillfully try and grab the stuff you can take and avoid the stuff you can't otherwise you die if it gives you get hit too many times and it's really fun like the skill element is really good like you've got to constantly focus on what you're doing and like get past the levels so there's a multitude of levels there's loads of different bosses all the bosses have different mechanics and I've, I've already killed a few bosses and the bosses have really interesting mechanics with different things they do to try and kill you it's kind of cool there's different ways in which you can upgrade you can level up of course you can constantly train your dragon to level up all the time you can get boosts that give you free boost time you can get like artifacts, not artifacts, but they're treasures. You get treasures which you collect as you're playing the game and you unlock them. And then you can basically, you can, you get these wishy wishes, there's wishes in it. <laughs> there's wishes in it where you can basically spin to get like pieces of treasure to help level the treasures up and stuff. So there is obviously monetization in it as well. 
um, you know, of course, it's a mobile game. So, like, there's there's packs you can buy to buy wishes and things and other stuff to upgrade your dragon to make yourself stronger so you got more HP, more attack, that kind of thing. There's other dragons you can unlock through the game and packs where you can basically get special abilities and stuff. Like, there's a lightning dragon, I think, that fires out lightning everywhere. I think that's part of the, 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 the newbie pack kind of thing. So, there's some. Re it seems really cheap as far as the packs go as well. It doesn't seem overly expensive, the packs. They look pretty fair from what I've seen so far. There's also some functions in it like Legend of Mushroom that you can watch a couple of ads here or there to get some extra bonuses. So that's an option you can do in the game as well. So far, I'm really enjoying playing it and the graphics style is really nice. The UI is really clean uh, and it plays really well. I'm playing it on an emulator. There's no lag whatsoever. It's actually a quite a pleasant game to play. So with that all being said and done, now you know what I'm playing. Um, you will see that in a little video maybe tomorrow. I'll post something out tomorrow just with us a little bit of my initial thought my first thoughts on the game will be tomorrow and then on the weekend we'll do a live stream and i'll play some of it on live stream with you live so you can come and check it out and ask any questions and just see what the gameplay is like live with me on stream this weekend um and then on the 18th of april i will be going live with the brand new game just coming out on a brand new account on a brand new server and hopefully you guys want to come play too and we'll set up a guild and stuff and have some fun. It should be fun. Another cool game for us to play on the channel. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, so, I don't know. Let's game. I'm sure there's plenty of other games that are like it. I mean, the thing is though, bro. Like, I mean, you could say that about any game. You know what I'm saying? You can literally say that about any game that's out. There's, oh, the, 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 that's like this, or the, that, that's like this. Diablo 4 is like Last Epoch. Last Epoch's like Path of Exile. The, 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 you, could, you could do it about any game, any mobile game, any game in the world. Like, <laughs> I never really understand that argument when someone says, oh, yeah, but it's like this, isn't it? It's like, well, yeah, but I mean, that's just games, isn't it? In general, all games are pretty similar. But one thing I like is this game's got a pretty good art style, and it looks, and it's actually really fun to play. I'm really enjoying playing it. So, yeah, we're going to uh, jump into that over the next few days and I'll show you what it's all about and stuff but I think I'm definitely going to play that on the channel looks good looks really good okay here we go so five gemming gremlin tokens let's take a look here yeah no I hope so too no no absolutely let's game I hope so too. I hope it's not a cash grab version of Galaga it reminds me of Galaga yeah very much so um Obviously, it's a mobile game, so there's going to be some packs and stuff. That's how mobile games go. Let's just hope it's not too heavily monetized. But so far, from what I've seen, and I'm not far enough in yet to really make a definitive decision, but so far, what I've seen, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, of course, it reminds you of Galaga, but is that a bad thing? That's, that's the way I look at that. So, like, it's... It reminds you of Galaga. Okay, Galaga was a great game. So, I mean, if it's like Galaga, that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? I mean, it's, that's good, right? Reminds me of the old arcade shooters. I think it looks cool. And it's different. Now, what I like, what I like about it is it's different to anything else we're playing on the channel. And I like to keep things kind of unique on the channel. You know what I mean? That's one of the reasons why I feel like World of Water just kind of fell short on the channel for me. It wasn't as popular with the streams or the videos people on this channel seemed a lot less interested in world of water and i think the reason for that is because people were interested at the start because of the charm of it being under the ocean but at the end of the day it's just lords mobile under the ocean so people have seen it all before so i think a lot of people lost interest in world of water the last live stream i did on world of water didn't even hit a thousand views it was terrible so it just tells me one thing if something's not clicking if people aren't interested there's no point continuing with it i just that's why i'm not really playing it much these days but i want to play mobile games that are good and i want to play mobile games that are fair as far as monetization and i want to play mobile games which are different to other mobile games i'm already playing i don't want to play the same thing just looks different i want to play games which are i want to play games on the channel long term which are actually unique and this definitely fits that description so yeah we're gonna give it a go absolutely you're showing your age 30 years ago indeed indeed bro indeed <laughs> um okay let me grab this oh i still need what two more gemming gremlins oh no
Come on, kill that monkey. Kill the monkey. Kill the monkey. Come on. 10 seconds. You can do it. Five seconds. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Run out of time. I don't think I'm going to kill this one. Just not doing enough damage, am I? Do I still need one more um, gem and gremlin? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I might do it this time though. I might do it this time. We might do it this time. Let's go, baby. Eat it. Let's go. Okay, nice. <laughs> All right, sweet. Oh no, the crocodile's coming. Uh oh. That crocodile is mean. I don't like the crocodile. Did someone just get rallied? Oh no, it's that combo thing in the news. Oh, did we just back to back kill this monkey as well? I think we did, ladies and gents. Bye bye, monkey. Nice. Okay, crocodile's gonna absolutely annihilate me. I can see it already. Oh my goodness gracious, he killed my clone in one bite. Oh yeah, I don't think we're gonna kill this. Nowhere near enough HP gone. Oh, it wasn't terrible, chat. Let's do it again. It was too hard to build true ups. Yeah, World of Water, it, the, the problem with World of Water is you hit a very quick like you get you get to about level 13, 14 or 15 castle and then you hit a massive resource wall like a huge one and the progress just stops and the packs which offer you the resources are just they're not great and then, then it comes down to having to gather for stuff. And not only do you need your resources for the buildings and stuff, but you need the resources for... You need the resources for the... Um, what's it called? The troops and everything. And yeah, you hit a massive resource problem. I got to... I think I got to like level 22 or 23 or something. And 35 is the max. And I've already hit the point where I can't do shit without resources. Like, it's just... Yeah... You hit a massive resource wall and the and the packs are not that fantastic for resources they all go very quickly and they cost quite a lot of money so i just lost interest your fest and extravaganza piss you off elden <laughs> i don't mind extravaganza more so i like it when dark majesty's in there yeah exactly you should have started it when that wave hit a few years ago it's great mm-hmm yeah, I got to Reef 23 and then gave up. The RSS cost was too much. Yeah, that's the problem. I think that's the problem a lot of us found. It's just the RSS cost is too much in that game. So I basically got to the point where I was facing a choice. I'd already spent like maybe, I don't know, like 50 bucks on a few little packs here and there. I wasn't going crazy. I was buying a few little things here and there because I was trying to work out if I wanted to play it or not. And then I hit the resource wall and then I started calculating how much it's going to actually cost to boost up the, to boost up the account. And then I've realized, damn, it's, so I've got a choice. I either spend a lot of money on this and start leveling this thing up or I stop playing it. And I thought to myself, well, let's do, we'll do a couple of live streams. We'll see how the game performs on the channel. If there's people watching it, then it's worth upgrading and we'll work on it and we'll play the game and we'll make content. But unfortunately the streams flopped and people just don't seem to be interested in the game on my channel so there was no point spending on it to play it it made no sense so yeah shame because it's a good game but let's face it mushroom game's better <laughs> let's face it mushroom game came out and literally turned turned my head like mushroom game's way better I like the idol RPG style of this game. I think it's great. It's really fun. I can have this running on my side of my computer all day and playing it on and off. It's just cool. I like the events they're bringing out. The events are really good. You get lots of cool rewards. All of the stuff that was is not pay to play in here. It's all free to play. You can grind everything. Yeah, you might not get there quite as fast as everybody else, but you can still grind and get unlock everything. There's nothing you can't unlock free to play in this game. So yeah, 
It's really free to play friendly. They're doing a good job with this mushroom game at the moment. I like it. Yeah, mushrooms on top. Yeah, it's really good. It's everything we want Lords Mobile to be, isn't it? <laughs> I like that. That's yeah, good. To be fair, without bots and sellers, RSS cost in Lords Mobile would be insane as well. Their pack for its Pope is just a decent addition to... Well, yeah, true. But then if there was no bots and stuff in Lords Mobile, I'm going to answer. I'm, gonna, I'm literally going to come straight back at you, Yumi, with this. Before... I ever bought before I ever bought banks inside Lords Mobile when I was building up my solo traps with the millions of troops I used to train and all the rest of it. I never used to buy resources from dealers because at one point when I played Lords Mobile, I wouldn't go nowhere near those dealers. I was actually against them. If you look back at my early videos, you'll see me trying to out them on YouTube. I hated it because I classed it as cheating. And then I realized IGG was never going to do nothing to resolve the problem, so I just embraced it like everything else, pretty much. Um, but no, what I'm saying is. I built hyper accounts. I built four farms. I had a I had a wood farm, I had a stone farm, an ore farm, and a food farm. And I used to log into those accounts daily and manage those and keep the shields up by logging in. Not having some program do it for me. I used to do it. I used to have the Lord's Mobile app on my phone, and I used to have a mirror app on my phone, and I used to mirror my Lord's Mobile app from Play, Do from Play Store. So I had two Play Store versions of Lord's. And I used to download Lord's Mobile from Amazon and I used to mirror that as well on my phone. So I had four versions of Lord's Mobile on my phone. And I used to log into the different versions of Lord's and each version had a different account open up on it. And that way I could easily switch between accounts. Oh yeah, now I'm talking old school. I don't know if many people do that nowadays. But I used to have mirrored versions of Lords on my phone and I used to switch between them on different accounts and I used to manage them daily. I used to transfer the resources to my account daily from my farm accounts. I used to do all that shit. I used to manage that stuff all myself. And I never had to even think about buying resources from IGG because I used to work hard to make sure I had resources from my alts. I mean, I have got no problem with going back to doing that. I've got... LD player with multi instance so I can log into all my alts and I can transfer my resources daily and I wouldn't have an issue with resources because they make millions because they're maxed out hyper farms I wouldn't need to ever worry about resources but you know so that's why I don't really care about resources I don't care if all the resource bots get taken offline good I hope they do because I'll just manage my accounts myself like I used to it's not a problem take 20 minutes out of my day to pop into all the accounts and quickly check them all no probs I mean, if you don't want to do that and you want to buy packs, then go for it. <laughs> but me personally, I just manage my hypers. Yup, I copied you in that way. Yeah, there you go. That's it. I did the same thing and it was a pain. Yeah, I know. I understand it's a pain. Don't get me wrong. In comparison to the Lord's bot of having all of your accounts on there being automated and you're not having to worry about it and it does it all for you. Of course, it's a pain. I understand that, right? In comparison. But... Like, if you're just talking about fair play, I would happily go back to doing that just to have fair play in the game. Absolutely. Yeah, of course. What about purchasing hypers instead of building them? Are you against that? I mean, if you want to go purchase a hyper, what's it cost you, like 50 bucks to go purchase a hyper? I mean, do you, boo-boo? <laughs> I don't care if you buy a hyper account. I don't care what you do. I'm not the police. You can, you can buy whatever you want to buy. I personally wouldn't never buy an account. That's just me. I'd rather just build it myself. But like, you know, if you want to go buy a hyper because you don't want to build one, that, I guess do it. I guess if that's what you want to do, make your own mind up and do it. I don't, I don't know. Hyper's like $7. Damn. Is that how much it is? Seven bucks. That's crazy. $7. <laughs> Okay, let's go and do some stars. 8,000 stars. We're going to try and get this done. Let's go kill the crocodile as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Um, chat. Actually, I don't want to do that because you can't see the mushroom room. Put that there. All right, that's that done. Grab that. Oh, I need to get two guardians. Uh, misread it. There we go. Oh, I can't kill this crocodile. 
Only damn thing I need is to be able to speed up Lunite and transfer it. My ults make Lunite and don't have tier 5. Yeah, IGG's never going to do that. The reason they brought Lunite into the game initially without having the trading capacity for it is to stop people from trading that resource. It was basically to put a monopoly over training troops and playing the war aspect of Lords Mobile. Because they they know they they knew they lost the monopoly over the resources because of all the resource sellers, so they introduced T5, and they put Lunite in so that they could re so they could retake the monopoly on the resources. They couldn't change the existing resources system because that would have pissed everyone off. So they added a new one, Lunite, and they basically stuck it on no transfer and packs only, pretty much, so that they could get. They can make a shit ton of money out of the resources because they were losing money because people were using the resource sellers all the time. It's actually a pretty good business decision. It sucks, but it's a pretty good business move. And besides, we looked at the chart the other day um, and when IGG released, as much as we think tier five wrecked the game, it didn't. Because when tier five was released, we saw the other day that IGG's revenue skyrocketed from like 40 million a month to about 60 million a month once tier 5 come out. Loads of people spent money in the game to upgrade their tier 5 and loads of people spent money in the game to get their Lunite. So in the months following tier 5 release, IGG went from making 40 million a month on Lords Mobile to 60 million dollars a month on Lords Mobile. It wasn't tier 5 that broke the game. It was artifacts, astralite, and tracker bots. That's what broke the game. It had been showing a slight decline before that, but that's just because people realized how expensive tier 5 was. They got all their tier 5, then they started using it, and then they were like, holy shit. So people started quitting because they were like, no, this is too much, and they started quitting, right? So there was a, they were on a slight decline anyway. Um on the back of tier 5 there was an incline initially but then there was a decline because people were like Ugh. but then there was an even bigger decline once the uh, artifacts astralite and tracker bots came out in lords mobile that's when uh, that's when the game went down from making 60 million a month down to making like 15 million a month yes they made 33 million dollars in february this year but they only did that because of the king kong collaboration and probably another collaboration they probably put that money into february that's probably why they made 30 million dollars in february but if january and march i think it's around about the 13 to 15 million mark so the lord's mobile's gone from making ig 60 igg 60 million dollars a month down to like 15 dollars 15 million dollars a month it's a massive decline huge huge decline <laughs> uh and yeah it's because of the it's because of the fact that two years ago two years ago they brought out artifacts and, and astralite and in two years they haven't rectified the issues why do you think they haven't put no big game updates out in the last two years they've been walking on eggshells because they've seen the game just go and plummet which is why this next update from IGG is massive. It's huge. It's going to be the make or break of Lords Mobile, this next update. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm rooting for them. I am. I'm really rooting for them. I hope this next update from Lords takes that chart back up like this and upward arrows. I hope more people, actual real people, not robots, actually start playing the game again. I hope to see the game do well again. But that could just be copium, to be honest with you. Because based on the what igg's been doing lately i don't i don't know man i feel like maybe the wrong person's in charge over there i, I don't know whatever I have, I have no idea what to say about it to be honest with you but the final now is ready to go in if they fuck this next update up then it's done and i'll be done so we'll see we will see guys we will see we will see and they still need another bloody boss what the hell Mushroom game is very well thought out fully, which is why it's my favorite. Yeah, I love it, man. It's great. Good afternoon, WP. Good afternoon, it's Sky. How you doing? Uh, hey, Prince. I've been a free-to-play player and I follow your channel for years now. I just wanted to say thanks for your stream yesterday. I might not be always uh, agreeing with your points, but it was good. Ah, uh, thanks, Julian. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Wait, what's the new update that's coming? We don't know yet, bro. 
IGG hasn't really re revealed anything. The only thing that's been revealed is the mistake <laughs> that they slipped up on dropping a few weeks ago uh, when they mistakenly sent some wrong rewards out to some people and it basically showed that they had level 90 heroes. So I think level 90 heroes is going to be a thing. It makes sense because they just recently updated the automatic quick swap with an EXP swapper. Why would they put that in the game? Experience. That's because there's going to be an update regarding experience. You're going to be leveling up to level 90 and they want to make sure you've got the right gear on if you're going to be activating something that's going to give you experience. That's why IGG's put the experience gear swap in there now. It's to get ready. It's, a, it's preparation. They're getting ready. Something's coming. Guys, I'm telling you, the ground is starting to tremble. Something's coming. It's going to be a big update. I'm telling you guys, mark my words. I'm not fearmongering. I'm just saying it's going to be a big update. It's going to be the make or break of Lords of Mobile this next update. So I just hope they've got everything in order and they're ready for their, and, we're, and, and everything looks good. Because if they bring something out that's dumb as fuck, I'm done. If I look at it and I'm like, this is this is stupid. It's ridiculously expensive or something. I'm, I'll, be, I'll be done. I, I, I don't want that to happen. I enjoy the game. I enjoy the community. I enjoy my friends. I enjoy all of this stuff. I don't want to see that go. But at the end of the day, like I said many times in the last few couple of days, I ain't going to continue to promote a game that the developers don't listen to their community. Just not doing it. So we'll see. We, we spent the last two days, guys, talking about all of it. We've done the video. We, we've done the two streams. We talked about IGG and Lords and where they've gone and where they've come from and the last four years of updates. We went through everything. And then we discussed yesterday all the stuff which they could change to make it better and the possible updates to come, what they could do. We get, And not everything is going to be doable. I understand that. I don't expect them to literally tick off every single box that we mentioned yesterday. But it would be great if they did see that and did actually kind of like listen a little bit and make it more feasible. So I know we're going to wait and see. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, right? But yeah, it's going to be a big one. It's going to be this. It's going. It's going to be. It's. It's, it's going to be. Something's definitely got to change because the downward arrow. It can't keep going that way. They've got to do something to bring it back up. It's got to be something good. I really hope it is, guys. Honestly, I can't stress enough. I know I've complained and moaned and argued and ranted and everything over the last few weeks about lords mobile but it's because it's coming from a place that i care I, i'm only doing it because i care i want them to succeed i want them to make this game great again hashtag make lords great again i want them to do well i really want them to make a good decision on this update like i'm telling you guys i'm actually rooting for them but i don't know we're just going to wait and see i don't got a clue what they're gonna do i really don't know no ideas. We have to wait and see. Um, right, that's done. Oh, look, I'm nearly done. Yes, 26 tokens. Okay, let's go, boys. We're getting this done now. 26 tokens. Okay, I need some tokens. Let's grab some more of this. One, two, three. 26 tokens. Go. Your wow's in 20 minutes. Oh, nice. Will you do an account overview of your rally party trap? I can do that if you want that. You want an overview of my rally trap video? Yeah, yeah, I can do that for you. I'll put it on the list of things to do. Is our wow in 10 minutes? No idea. <laughs> All right, one, six. Here we go. Another champion chest. Oh, I got a chaos. I got a chaos thing down there. Look. What kingdom am I in? I don't know. Thirty-eight or something. I don't know. Something like that. Thirty-seven, I think. I didn't think WoW was today. I can't kill this thing. All right, guys. Well, that's where I'm on Mushroom Game right now. You can see I'm almost full Aorus gear. Looking pretty good. I can't do much else until tonight's reset. Got some arena, arena chances, actually. 
Yo, Cam, I'm going to fight you in the arena. <laughs> Let's see if Cam beats me or not. Ooh. Yo, Cam, you... Oh, I think I think I got... I think I got him. I got, I got him. I got him. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ooh. Sorry, Cam. <laughs> Uh, let's fight Mewis. Oh, he's a little baby mushroom. He's really strong. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, I might struggle against this guy. Oh no, I think I got him off. His life's gone. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah. Like that. 20 points on hero stages. Yay. I won again. Nice. Is that done? One more. Okay. This is bullying. How is it bullying? <laughs> You're always stealing my plants. That's bullying. I don't do arena and legend of mushroom. I probably should though. Yeah, you should. You get good rewards from it, bro. Uh, I'm going to fight Ryan. Okay. Um... Grab that. Nice. We're 160 points away from completing exchange. Just waiting for a few more quests, Pete. Just waiting for a few more quests. Just won another match in Arena. Nice. It will take me up to rank. What rank am I now? 42. That ain't bad. Has he gone? Is he, is he still yellow? Yeah, he's still yellow gear. Man, that mount. I want that mount he's got. That mount's really good. Everyone up here is full aura, so he's not full aura. He's got three pieces missing, but he's got combo crit rate and yeah, yeah, yeah. His skills are pretty good. The skills at the bottom are really important. They're really important. By the way, this thing here, this event, this was the latest event they come out with, the reversal showdown. This was really good. I really enjoyed this. We had to go in here and buy these little things, which, by the way, was completely free to play. I've still got 910 tokens. I could buy all the rest of these out right now. It doesn't. I don't need to, but I mean, I can do it. So basically, chat, getting this all unlocked was completely free to play. I didn't need to pay to do any of this, right? So you got all these unlocked free to play in the event. And then going into here, you can complete every single level completely free to play. Now, there is pay to play features, of course, because it's a mobile game. There's going to be pay to play stuff, too. But you can obtain the gear, the gear items completely free. Look, uh, Void 3, just by getting the first prize or doing the first level, you got the gear item, which was not it's not stats. It's just cosmetic, but it's nice. It's cool. It's like a, it's like a, like a, like a devil crown. Everybody gets that. And then the only the only pay to play stuff that was in this whole event was the back on track. As free to play, you still got reward one, reward two, and reward three completely free. But then after that, you had to buy a $1 pack here to get that reward. And then there was like a $5 pack here to get that one. And then you had to get like, a, I think a $10 down here to get this last one down here. So, and there's five days of this, which was kind of cool. So yeah, it was kind of cool, man. It was a pretty cool event. The rewards were really good. The, the, the packs weren't that expensive. And the event was kind of fun. The, what you had to do was kind of fun. You had to like put your creatures up on the... I'll show you quickly. For you, those of you that did, didn't see it, look. Just do the first level because it's easy. You just basically like go to battle. And you put the creatures up on here and they move along and uh, they kill them, look. So you basically just put the creatures on the tracks. And then they go along and they kill the, they kill, they kill the mobs. They kill the dudes at the end. And once you kill all three... You get fire, you get three stars and move on. It was a cool little event. It was a cool little event they done. I like this. This reversal showdown was quite fun. I like that. Okay, what we got here? Uh, 20 of that. Don't want that. Uh, skill stones. Yeah, I guess I could try and do this. So we could do uh, Pyrus. Um, there we go. One more. There you go. And collect. 
All right, 120 points remaining, peeps. And we go see if we can get any light weaver medals. No worries, it's Sky. Catch you later. The WoW was so OP for this event. Yeah, it was good. It was really good. I'll tell you what, the best event I've saw, the best event I've seen in... Um, the best event I've seen in Legend of Mushroom so far, actually, was that one they done the other day when you basically bet your money, you bet your in-game credit, and you can, like, double your money. Do you guys remember that? For any of you in the chat that remember that event, that I saw it on live stream. It was crazy. Like, you could literally put, like, 10 bucks in this machine and get, like, $30 back. It was nuts. Like, it was like a free money machine. It was really cool. That was a really cool little thing. I, I hope they bring that back because that was actually pog. I really liked that. Like, and, and there was no way of losing. That was the best part about it. There was no way to lose your money. Like, you might only get, like, a dollar. Or you could like trip double, double or triple your money. Like it was insane. It was such a good event. Oh, I mean, I, I, I did. I put some money in it because I could try and re-roll. It was great. I made, I made myself like a free $50 out of that. Morbid got like a free $110 or something. Like free. He literally doubled his cash. That was crazy. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good one. That's a really good event. I've never seen anything like that. All right, five Jet Grimmin Gemlins and we're done. Beautiful, there we go. So we need to just grab a few more of these. That should do it. All right, we do these tokens, guys, and we're done. All right, I'm jumping off Mushroom Game now, peeps. We're going to finish up on Lords. We're going to finish up strong. We're going to finish Exchange Extravaganza. And it's been a good stream today, guys. It's been sort of productive. I spent a little bit more than I really wanted to because I had to go and buy some packs to get the Embers. And I had to buy some packs to get some more Necrosis stuff, which was kind of frustrating considering I had already bought two full runs of Frosty Special and Bursting with Riches to do a bunch of monster hunting. Unfortunately, we only got one blue and two greens from seven million energy it was awful we got absolutely ripped on the uh blood drops from the monster um so i went and decided to go ahead and buy the rest of it wasn't too bad got it done and then we astralized it up to level three so the book of the dead is done um that's now in my 208 set which is really really good the stats are looking nice on my 208 and uh yeah Really, really happy with it. Yo, Mike, call me when you're done streaming, please. No worries, dude. I thought you were busy. Hang on, it's what time is it? I thought you were at work. I thought you were working, bro. Are you, are you on your lunch break or something? You're going to go have some pizza today. Don't know why. I just feel like it. Yeah, I'm not feeling pizza, bro. No. You know what? Actually, I saw a video yesterday on YouTube for a, from another carnivore content creator called Steak and Butter Girl. And she done a carnivore pizza. I mean, I watched her make it and I was like, you know what? I might try that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like it's kind of weird, right? But, the, it, but I watched the ingredients she put in it and it was kind of like mad. She got like ground chicken. Yeah. Ground chicken, like chicken mince, like chicken, chicken, like, like ground beef, but it's chicken. She got ground chicken. And she mixed it with uh, porco, porco, panko, panko pork crumbs, right? Thank you, Angelo, for the sub. Welcome to the Webby Nights. She mixed the ground chicken with panko pork, pork crumbs to make like a dough. And then like squashed it and spread it out to make like a round pizza base. And then cooked it in the oven to like make it a cooked pizza base. And then she made a sauce. It wasn't tomato sauce. She made like a cream cheese sauce using double, heavy whipping cream and uh, raw cheese. I made like a cheese sauce, a thick cheese sauce. Put that over the top of the of the of the crust, and then put some bits of minced beef on top of it, and some pepperoni on top of it, and then baked it in the oven, and put a bit of sprinkle of cheese on top, and then sprinkle it in the oven. I tell you what, it looked legit when it came out of the oven. It came out of the oven. I was like, yo, that looks legit. And to be honest with you, it looked it looked really good. I'm think I might try it. I might try it. Carnivore pizza. I mean, it's just chicken, beef cheese and cream i can eat all those things so yeah i might try it you know 
How many likes have we got? We at 200 likes. Okay, we didn't hit 300 likes. So that means I can't give away two prizes today. But we did hit 200 likes. So for 200 likes, I'll give away one prize. And the prize I'm going to give away is 30,000 gems. And I'm going to give that to uh, someone in the chat. And, and um, what's it called? Um, Nightbot is going to pick. All right. So I need you to put a keyword in the chat if you would like the chance to win 30,000 gems. All you need to do, guys, and remember, please only type it once in the chat because if you do it more than once, Nightbot will ban you from the giveaway. So please don't do it more than once. Inside the stream chat, please type the word in capital letters, all one word, gems. Okay? Gems. Write the word gems in the chat, all one word, capital letters, just do it once. And once you put that in the chat, you'll be entered into the competition. Yo, Langer, you wrote germs instead of gems. Just so you know, you need to do it again, bro. <laughs> you, if, if you want to be eligible, you wrote germs instead of gems. So, just saying. So far, we've got everybody that's eligible so far. That's good. The only person that isn't eligible that wrote something. Oh, you want 69 germs. Oh, he doesn't want the germs. Okay. Good. Everybody's got a blue circle next to their name, which means you're in. Um... Kent's UO has just been disqualified because you wrote it twice. I'll put you back in, Kent's. All right. Don't worry. I got you, bro. I'm just watching because it's telling me who has done it more than once. Same Garba has also done it more than once. I'll put you back in, Same, but don't write the word gems again, please. Because if you write it again, it, it takes you out. Um, the only person that's not in is Langer. I got 50 people from the stream that are interested. So there's like 200 of you here, but only 50 people that are actually in the in the, in the eligible thing. So I guess not everybody wants gems. That's fair enough. Um, okay, cool. Well, we've got like 50 eligible users, which is good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and press the button. Actually, it's a bit more than that. It's 51. Anybody else? Last calls. If you want to get some, if you want a chance to win some gems, you just got to write the word gems in the chat. G-E-M-S. Okay. I'll give you another five or six seconds. All right. You only do it once though. Otherwise you will get Dr. Stone Cold hat has been removed. What the hell? Okay. I'll put you back in Stone Cold, but don't write it no more. Okay. That's everybody. All right. Cool. We've got 53 people. Here we go. This is for 30,000 gems, ladies and gentlemen. OG Merc has also been disqualified because he wrote it more than once. I'll put you back in, bro, but stop writing it, okay? All right, it's good. 53 people. Cam has also been disqualified. I don't want him. I don't play Lords. Okay, good. That's fine. <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. All right, here we go. Everybody's in. Everybody's in except for Langer and Cam. All right, here we go. Rolling it now. M.A. Gamer. Ma Gamer. GG's. What's your in-game name, bro? I'll give you 20 seconds to tell me your in-game name in the chat. I have no idea who that is, chat. Ma Gamer. M.A. Gamer. That's not that. You got 20 seconds, bro. Uh... <laughs> MA Gamer one. Yeah, GG's, bro. Congratulations. What's your in-game name, dude? We can bring it up and just double check. Oh, Mada Ali, yeah? All right, okay, let's have a look, guys. This is who just won the gems. Mada Ali. Wait, that doesn't come up. Shit. Hang on a minute. What? Hang on a sec. Reroll? Oh, you spelled it wrong. M-A- D-A-H A-L-I Okay. Bruh. What's your, oh, that's what MA stands for. What's your Lord's mobile name, bro? What's your Lord's mobile name, dude? 
What's your Lord's mobile name? Because this isn't coming up, bro. It will in a minute because someone will change the name to it. I guarantee it. Oh, it's one word. Ah, thank you. Ah, there he is. Mada Ali, congratulations. 488 million my 11.5 million kills from Kingdom 1020 in Dominion 3. Cool. Um, Mada, if you go ahead and apply to TWK for me, please. I will let you in and give you some jemmies. Mini Rook. Okay. I don't know who that is. Just let him in. Um, <laughs> I don't know who that was. I let him in, whoever it was. I don't know. Yeah, if you apply, bro, I will uh, let you in now and give you some jemmies. Well, I won't give you gems. You have to ask me. You have to tell me what you want. Like, what prize do you want? Like, what do you want for your gems? One more on 250 likes. <laughs> no. 300 likes was going to be the next prize, but we didn't get to 300 likes. So I said I was going to do 30K. I said I was going to do 60K at 300, but we didn't quite get there. So I said I'd do 30,000 for 200. I'll do another 30,000 for 300, but we're not at 300. So Mada Ali, in you get, buddy. Wait, where is he? Did I just accept that or did I decline it? He, how many gems did he win? 30,000. There he is. Congrats. What would you like for 30k gems? Congratulations! Congratulations and celebrations! Sorry, that was that was weird. Ooh, what the hell? Don't ever do that again. <laughs> All the headphone users that are watching the stream right now. Uh, sorry, that was really mean of me. I'm so sorry, chat. I uh, love you guys. 24 hour speed ups. Okay. There we go. <laughs> you know what? I love whining chat up. It's so funny. Uh, 24 hours. <laughs> 30,000 gems worth of 24 hour speed ups. I got you, bro. Oh, shit. Um, there you go. Boom. Enjoy. There you go. Uh, Prince, when's the next Helldiver stream? The Automate and Automatrons came back and apparently their home planet is on the map. I know! Me and Morbid are playing it later off stream. But we'll do a stream this weekend, hopefully. Okay. When's the next Helldiver streams? Hopefully this weekend when the boys all get online. Me and Morbid are going to play it tonight and start it off. Okay. Um, and we hopefully will do a live stream this weekend if they're free. Uh, but yes, we are going to be playing Helldivers this weekend because a new update dropped today. Yeah, I'm super excited to play it. The grenade pistol and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, no, I can't wait to play it tonight with the boys. And uh, we've already got it, we've already got it scheduled in. <laughs> and um, yeah. So we're doing it off stream. And then this weekend, we'll probably do a Helldiver stream this weekend. Absolutely. Guild check, hopefully this Sunday. It's meant to be last Sunday. But I wasn't feeling too well. So I didn't do it. When's face reveal? Never. Okay. That's done. This is done. He's just won some gems. He's a happy bunny. Uh, let's go out of here. We've done Exchange Extravaganza. That's great. We've managed to upgrade the Book of the Dead. Book of the Dead. Done. Where is it? There it is. There it is. Book of the Dead, done, beautiful. Been a good stream. Very productive. Now let's finish off on an absolute high note. This is going to be a high note, ladies and gents. Here we go. First of all, champion chests. Okay. Right, here we go, guys. Check it out. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Here it comes. Light Weaver chest. Ah. We're going to be opening the light. Now, should we do, should we, should we record this for a YouTube short? I think we should record this for a YouTube short because it, it'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? And we could do it. Okay. I'll record it for a YouTube short. You ready? Here we go, chat. <laughs> uh, okay. I've got to get my, get my game face on because I've got to record it. We'll record it for a YouTube short. Okay. All right. <clears throat> 
No, okay. No, no. Um, all right. Hi, my name's Worthy Prince, and today we're going to be opening up Lightweaver chests. It's an exciting time because we have an opportunity to get Lightweaver medals. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the 11K Hero Lightweaver. The question is, are we going to get any? Well, we're about to find out. Count down with me now with three, two, one, and... There you go, ladies and gentlemen. $100 of Lightweaver. Cha-ching! <laughs> there you go. That ain't too bad, is it? That's a good little YouTube short. We'll take that. $100 worth. Three medals. Boom! Not bad at all. Watch him get 10. Yeah, 10 would have been insane. 10 would have been insane. Oh, wow. Can you imagine if we got 10? 10 would have been nutty. But we got three. We got three. That's $100 worth. That's $100 right there. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> hey, you can't grumble with 100 bucks worth. 100 bucks for free. I'll take it. Thanks. So how many light weaver medals do we have now? Because I don't even know. 16. Ooh. Ooh. Just IGG teasing me. You've almost finished, Dark Magister. You might as well start Lightweaver. It's almost green. That's basically what that is. That's what that is right there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, 16. 16 Lightweaver medals out of 20. Okay, 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 okay. Let's not talk about Shapeshifter. I've only got 10 for Shapeshifter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rip. But what we need to really be focusing on is the big boy. Here he is, the baldy. 123 out of 150. We're getting close on this thing. Um, I'm only 70, uh, what is it, 27 medals away from getting this thing done. It's like nine packs. It's not that much left to go. Um, yeah. It's not much left to go on this. I'm going to finish this soon. I'm going to finish this soon. This is the one thing I'm going to do before they drop this big update. I don't want to push anything big right now, but this will be the last thing I do for the moment. I want to finish off my 11k. Almost done. Almost done. Almost. Almost, peeps. Almost. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah, no, I know. I know. I know. It's a lot. I know. But it's, you know, <laughs> please don't remind me, guys. <laughs> um yeah what's that yeah boss dog yeah nice yeah free wasn't too bad was it free was all right actually uh so anyway we're gonna say goodbye to phase one today of the uh king kong godzilla event i i am not gonna go in here and push any of this stuff i did try and get a few extra fragments with the uh the crystals i had but it was never gonna be enough to be able to really level this thing up anymore so um yeah we say rip to this uh, so that, that's gone. I've got the artifacts unlocked, so that will have to do. Um, it's barren this weekend. Okay, cool. Uh, Guildfest is almost over. There's three days left of Guildfest. Ugh. My Guildfest is done. I've got 2,211 points, which is 11 points over the minimum. So I passed. Loving that. And we are currently in first place, which is good. Cool. Cool. Like that. First place, which is nice. So hopefully we can stay somewhere near the top. Um, I also finished the challenge event. Okay, that's cool. Didn't know I did that. Um, what else have we got? Open these up. Nothing in there. Got some messages. Wow raid in 20 minutes. Really? Oh, we're doing a wow raid. Where are we going? Where's everyone going? What wow raid? Five hours on the base. Have, have they gone somewhere else for thoughts? Okay, now I'm curious. Let me go get my lineup. I want to go see where they're going. Where are they going? What are they doing? I don't know if I can migrate anywhere because I'm like 2.1 billion more. Uh, maybe. Um.
Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm reading something. Sorry. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Now I'm reading something. Sorry, I got an email from someone. I was just reading something. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, hold on two secs. Uh, where's my lineup? I was just going to go and see where this raid is. Where's this raid? No, I can't. I'm going to make a look in the leadership room. I can't see anything anywhere. What raid are you talking about, bro? Change of plans. Kingdom coming soon. Change of plans? I don't even know what the plans are. <laughs> We're great R5, and I? <laughs> I don't even know the plan. I don't even know what the plan is. What's the plan? Someone tell me the plan. I don't know what the plan is. Such a good R5, guys. I'm such a good R5. I know everything that's going on inside my guild. I know everything that's going on. Feels great. <laughs> oh no. Yo, I'm looking in this line group. Yeah, there's this. I oh, mate, I feel bad. This is the kind of shit chat. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, right? I'm looking in this line group and there's this dude from PCS that's just posted a picture of this, right? In this line group. Yeah, that, I'm, that they, they invited me to the other day. It's kind of funny, actually. There's this, this guy, right? He's, he's, his name's Badger. And he's in PCS, right? He is, uh, he's posted a picture of the, where is it? Where the fuck is it? Is it? No, it's not that. Where, 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 where's the, where's the, No, it's this, isn't it? Yeah, this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this, this. He's posted a picture in this line group of this, right? <laughs> he's posted a picture of this, and he's got one square missing at the top of the picture frame. One square. That's all he's got missing to get the permanent Godzilla Castle skin, right? And he's just dropped two hundred dollars trying to get that that square to appear, and it still hasn't appeared. <laughs> I just, this is what I'm talking about though, guys. It's just not fair putting this shit behind an RNG event to know that there's, I feel bad for this guy, to know there's a guy, to know there's a guy out there that's dropped, just, just dropped $200 trying to get that one square of that puzzle to get this castle skin unlocked permanently. And he's just got, he literally didn't get it after dropping $200, man. That is, that's some bullshit right there. $200 is 600 of these fucking things. Guys, look, man. $200 is like 600 of these fucking drone things. He rolled 600 times 
And he still didn't get that one puzzle piece at the top. That's fucking crazy, man. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying, though. That's is the, this is what IGG need to stop this shit, man. That's not. It's not even about. Oh, they made money. It's not fair, man. Making a player drop that kind of cash just to get a bloody Godzilla castle skin that doesn't even give you any castle stats. There's nothing. It's just. It's just the skin, man. And I'm not even using it. I'm not even using it. <laughs> I'm using something completely different. I had. I used it for a couple of days and then I took it off. It looks all right. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't look bad. It's a cool looking castle skin, isn't it? But like, you know what I mean? Like, I took it off. I was like, okay, yeah, the, 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 the collaboration is done as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to go back to... Same goes for this. I wanted this one, but I don't hardly use it. Same goes for that one. I don't hardly use it. I, I, I use the other ones. I like, I'm using this one right now because it's Easter. It was Easter and I used, I used it because it's got eggs on it, you know? crazy no i don't know if that's actually his name that's his name online might be something different in game i don't know lord's mobile is not going anywhere when people are dropping cash like this for a non-stat cosmetic item that's what i'm saying man that's crazy that they're like the thing is he probably didn't expect to drop 200 dollars on it he just got sucked in you know what i mean he obviously wants the skin so he bought some people he, he bought a pack, couple of packs and he bought a couple more because he really wants him before he knows it he's dropped 200 and he's like damn i still haven't got it and he's 200 in the hole on it like that's just it you know obviously he's got the money to do it otherwise he wouldn't do it right i would hope so anyway but like I, I'm, I'm just thankful that i've been fairly lucky with these castle skins and i didn't have to drop that kind of money to get it like jesus i, I didn't spend hardly anything on mine in fact I hate to say this because it's you know after hearing that but the the last couple of uh the last couple of uh puzzle pieces i needed was the eyeball his eyeball and his nose and i literally dropped both of them on one 10 roll free to play just through my monster hunt ones i finished it free to play i spent about 30 bucks getting all this stuff unlocked that's about 30 dollars it cost me about 30 dollars to get the one the, all the all of the things unlocked here and to get both of the artifacts unlocked without pushing any of these artifacts. You can see I've not pushed these. I'd have to spend more money if I wanted to push them, but I've not pushed them. Um, but to get everything unlocked here and everything, apart from this, because I really do not give a shit about that one bit. Um, had it have been a King Kong skin, maybe, maybe might have been inclined to push this a little bit more to get this unlocked and get that 50 medals and then work on the next phase two to try and get the rest of it unlocked maybe and i mean maybe it's not like 100 percent. but had it have been a king kong skin and it actually looked good because i like godzilla but this looks kind of shit um if it was a good looking king kong skin i might have done it but i ain't doing it for that because it looks shit no so i'm not interested no thank you i could have done way better with that it should all i don't know why this leader skin doesn't light up like why doesn't it glow it should glow it just roars it should glow also godzilla looks pretty good inside your turf I've gotta be honest with you it looks kind of good inside your turf look at this thing hell yeah look at that it looks kind of badass inside your turf doesn't it it looks better in here than it does outside on the kingdom map and it's cool in here because it fires that laser out of his mouth look give it a second Wait, is there game game sound when he fires the laser? Hold on a sec. I want to, I want to see, I want to see. Where's the sounds? Oh shit! No, setting, 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 setting. No, no, no. Right, Godzilla, shoot the laser. Holy shit! That was actually really oh my god that was so cool yo so this is what i'm saying the lead the castle skin's good the leader skin sucks ass that was cool you know what guys i don't know how they made that sound but i love that sound that godzilla makes when he's powering up his laser that's fucking awesome right that's cool 
That's good. That's good. This is good. That's good. I, I like the sound he makes when he charges up. It goes... Boom! And then fires his laser. That's so good, man. Yeah, can you imagine if they'd have done a, a King Kong leader skin, right? Like you just said there, Kent. That's what I'm talking about. If they... Do you mind? Okay. You remember when it would be great if they'd done a King Kong leader skin, yeah? And you've got King Kong standing there with that big gold glove on, right? And then he just leans up and just goes boom, 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 boom. Rawr, like that. Oh my God. I would have been all over that. I would have been like, take it to the bank. I would have been in. All in. I would have gone for it. If it was a King Kong, I like King Kongs. So if I had a big King Kong skin... <laughs> that's sick um yeah yeah so like if they, if, they, if they had a king kong sing and doing all that like uh, banging his chest and thought matt i would have been all up in that but actually i really like the godzilla castle skin i really do no it's a dub i love the i love the castle skin but it's not a dub when you've got to spend loads and loads and loads of cash to get it and you've got people in the game right now that are dropping like 200 dollars to try and get this castle skin and they still can't get it because they haven't got the puzzle piece like, IGG, what is all that about? Like, that's just not fair. Let people get it and enjoy this. Everybody should be able to enjoy this in their castle. It's cool. Look at this. King Kong skin will be in Park 2 of the event. No, it ain't. We already looked on the uh, Taiwan server. It wasn't there, bro. It was the Godzilla skin that was on there. There was no King Kong skin. Unless they're hiding it, I don't know. Yo, man, that looks so cool. It's even better now to turn the sound on. I like that. The eye sees all. The eye sees all. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot all the all the heroes have, uh, have voices now, don't they? So I've returned to claim my throne. I've returned to claim my throne. <laughs> it's right. Sounds like Gordon Ramsay. It's raw. <laughs> yeah, the the the, the, uh, the the sound effects are pretty good for the heroes and stuff. They're pretty good. I turn it all off still because I'm streaming and stuff. I want Godzilla to be quiet for a second. But yeah, mm. someone just got grimmed 13 times in your guild. What? Oh my god! What? Damn it! I've taken 12 grims in 13 hours. Another three grims. Who the hell's grimming you? <laughs> Yo, some dude's getting grimmed. Have fun, bro, with that. Oh, man, that sucks. Big solo traps getting grimmed because he's tile here. Oh, yeah, that's going to happen today, by the way, guys. When we start going off on the tile hitting spree in a few hours, um, we're going get, to get ready to get grimmed. It's going to happen a lot. We're going to get some grim and grimmage coming in. Anyway, on that note, guys, I am going to end this stream here. It's been an absolute pleasure with you guys this afternoon. It's been fun getting my book upgraded and stuff. I hope you enjoyed all that. Um, I will be back in a couple of hours. It's four o'clock, three o'clock now. I'll be back in a couple of hours. I'm going to take a break. Probably going to get some food. It might be a little bit later, maybe, maybe two and a half hours. Either way, I'm going to be back for a second lord's mobile stream of the day as if this four hour stream wasn't enough you got me again later today later on today we're going to be doing the guild fest bash event which is a new event that just got created yesterday where we're basically going to migrate to different kingdoms and ruin people's guild fests <laughs> um there's going to be bunches of people getting triggered and that's what it's all about. If you're up for some mischief, then make sure you tune in in a few hours' time when we start this up. Guys, make sure you've subscribed. Make sure you've got the bell button pressed. Make sure you like the stream. And I will catch you a little bit later on today. Thank you, guys. Don't forget, you can also join the Discord. The link is in the description below. If you want to come and hang out with the community of our channel, that would be awesome. Um, other than that, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Until then... You know how the next bit's gonna go. Stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out. Ladies, guys, bye.